shuffling just like the old days to get the stream started. <laughs> and I have to hit play on the music. Which is somewhere. Oh, here we go. Oh, I didn't have time to do an audio level test, so hopefully it's good. And... Oh, my desktop audio is muted. Wait, why? Oh, that's a different one. Never mind. And never mind. Also, I'm realizing I didn't grab my wireless earbuds. Help. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I need to grab my wireless earbuds so I can hear the alerts come through. Which, by the way, I have different alerts now. <laughs> I was, I wanted to set up new alerts so that hopefully the one month resubs come through properly. So today will kind of be the test of that. I set them up with stream elements. So hopefully they work. <laughs> All the way upstairs to the second floor. Oh Lord. <sighs> I don't even know if they can still hear me from this far. Oh, okay, back down. These streams take like an hour to set up. It's like, what the heck, man? Okay, coming back down. The sweater color, by the way, is horrible on me, but it's a test sweater. I kind of wanted to see the color IRL, and I'm like, ew, it's a little too pasty, in my opinion. Because for these uh, zip-up sweaters, they don't have the same color selection. Go ahead. I gotta make sure the the Bluetooth is off on my phone, otherwise it will try to connect to that. Here we go. I can hear now. <sighs> Hello everybody. Feels like it's been so long since I've seen you. I'm actually swap. Of course there's a heist going on. Of course there is. You like the color? <laughs> Christian said that too. It's just cause I'm trying to make it look like the sandstone color. Let me go. I mean, it's not that far off. There's just something pasty about this. Like it's, <laughs> I feel like it's washing me out, but the sandstone color of the other sweaters is darker. So like, look at this. And I think there is a darker color for this one. I have to double check cause I ordered a couple different sweaters and I can't remember which ones had which color selection. Um, one of them did have a darker color that was probably a little darker than this, but yeah, so I'm trying to get as close to this as possible because the hoodies, like the pullover hoodies and the crew necks have the same color selection and same material, but there isn't a matching zip up from that brand. And so I'm like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so I ordered two. One of them is like pilling immediately. I could tell as soon as I felt the fabric, I was like, this is gonna pill <laughs> and it has already. This one has not. Everyone has such a fuzzy in interior though. Although the fuzz is not that fuzzy after a few washes. This one's unlined and very thin, but it's like cozy. Like, I like a thin zip up. Oh. It's just a different color, so it looks good on you. Darude Sandstone. Sandstone. But anyway, th yeah. this also has two strings. You're supposed to take one out. So you can either have the white string, the white string or the matching color string. But I've left both of them in for now. I have news. I have a job interview for a full-time job. It's an optician in the UK called Spec Savers for a trainee optical retailer. Basically, it'll be the one you come to when you choose your glasses. Ooh, good luck for the interview. I hope that all goes well. Just finished my black diamond painting last night. What timing? Now you get to see me start mine. So I've got this view and this view. We'll probably mostly be doing this one for the actual diamond painting portion. 
got some stuff sitting out because I was taking a thumbnail pic. This one's good for the setup though. It's got the glare though. So I need to tape off a section and cut off the plastic. Are you feeling better? I am mostly better. My stomach is like a little weird, but I'm like 95% better. Last Wednesday was by far the worst. Like, <laughs> it's funny cause I was only home for two days and I was like, should I stream? Should I just cancel it and just get some stuff? To oh my God, am I still recording for the vlog over here? Oh my God, yes I am. Oops, sis. Kill that battery. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, and I was like, debating back and forth if I should stream or not. And then I was like, yes, let's just do it. We can do some diamond painting. And then I felt like such crap. I was just in so much pain. And the one thing I had to do that day though was package orders because usually I package them and mail them out Mondays and Thursdays, but I wasn't gonna be home either of those days. So I was like, I'll send them out on Wednesday. But Wednesday was the day that I was feeling like such garbage. And that was, I had to get them out that day because we were leaving the next day. <laughs> So I was just like crying while packaging the orders. I was like tears running down my face, just like having my little pity party because I wanted to be anywhere else. And I had like 17 orders to do, which is a lot. And so I was just like, <laughs> Suki, thank you so much for the membership. Kiki, you're sitting right in front of the chat. What happened for it to start the stomach problem? Well, I thought it was food related because we had supper around like 5.30 or something. And then it was maybe an hour later, my stomach started to hurt. And it was like up high, right below the sternum, just right in here. So I'm like, oh, my food's just not sitting well with me. And it was bugging me all evening that I woke up in the morning and it was even worse. And then in addition to that, I started getting some pain lower down and my abdomen was super tender to the touch. Like even just the band of my pants was bothering me. And, but then eventually the stomach pain stopped but that like lower pain remained. And that's kind of what I was dealing with, but it's moved, it kind of like moved downwards and then just stayed there at like a better level. So like as soon as the stomach pain stopped, it was better, but I still had a tender tummy for several days. And now it's mostly better. It doesn't really hurt unless, like I mean, right now I feel it a teeny bit, but it doesn't really hurt unless I'm like bearing down to poop or something, like using certain muscles hurts. <laughs> but, <laughs> Sydney, thank you for the membership. Wait, let me double check. These are both actually new memberships. Sydney's is, oh, I can't scroll up, I guess. I'm like, was Suki's? It says new member on this thing, which is nice. I have a whole different alert notification system. Could be IBS related, yeah. Define the limits, thank you for the, the membership. Okay, that one's also new. Okay, Ender, oh, that's for two months. I need like a one month membership to come through so to test if this is gonna work, but who knows. <clears throat> Ender, thank you for the two months. Is that the Cactus Red Bull? Oh, it's a dragon fruit. You weren't a fan of the cactus one? I don't think I've, no, I've never tried that one. Did I get gifted a membership? You might have last time. There haven't been any that come through yet today, but. Which by the way, I have an alert specifically for gifted memberships now. I also changed the resub. Did that? Enders hasn't come through yet. I changed the resub animation because it was the dancing Squidward before, like the dancing handsome Squidward, which is iconic, but it doesn't match all the other gifts, which are pixel gifts of SpongeBob. And so I went with a different handsome Squidward one that's pixely, like pixel art. It's got roses. Okay, okay. Missy, as soon as I start the stream, every time, I already gave you your attention today. Although I think she was sad she couldn't crawl all over me because like I got out of the shower and then laid in bed on the covers and I was naked. <laughs> and so she was like gently putting a paw on me but she couldn't dig her claws in because she knew I wasn't wearing clothes and she was like, mm. <laughs> but she was being gentle. Mm -hmm. But she's like. Mm. 
Once a member, always a member. Okay, now everything's starting to come through. I was like, well, where's Enders? Once a member, always a member. Once a member, always a member. Mm, see, these gifted ones are coming through not as a gifted one. Once a member, always a member. I didn't know how to like prioritize the alerts because I wanted to come through as a gifted one, not as a resub. Once a member, always a member. I'm sure you'd get the gifted one if it was a new. Because see, there was an option, it's like randomize which one they get if more than one condition is met. So for example, if it's a gifted sub and it's a renewal. But I don't want that, I want a specific one. Dang it. Or. Yeah. Because it says gifted, gifted there, but over here it says two times channel member. It doesn't say gifted. No! Why can't there just be one alert system that works? Why can't there just be one that works? Excuse me, Kiki. <laughs> so, now I don't know which of these were the gifted ones. Probably these five that went to Kate Liecki, Moon Phoebes, and Lore and Emo Turtle. Gifted by Jamie Marie. Thank you, Jamie. Kiki's like, Mom, spotlight's on me now. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, <laughs> dang it. The new alert system doesn't work either. But yeah, these are coming through in my alert like dashboard as membership renewals instead of gifteds. Kiki, stop. No. Okay, wait, I need to switch to side view, which I bumped and try to map off an area that you can actually see. I mean, some of it might just have to be behind the face cam. I mean, I don't need a huge section. Kiki, you're pushing buttons. Yeah, around here I think is good. You're keep dimming the light, Kiki. Oh, now it's brighter. It's okay if a little bit is out of view, but. Let's maybe go right where these sevens are. I can't decide what. Is the music louder? Okay, let me turn it down. It's one of those streaming things that's different every freaking time. And usually I do a test, but I ran out of time. Is that enough down? Too much, not enough? Let me know. <laughs> giving me Mario Kart. You know what I just found out yesterday? There's a Vancouver level in Mario Kart now. I don't know how new it is, but it's called Vancouver Velocity. <laughs> now, of course, the next song is like a slow, quiet one, which is going to be hard to compare. <laughs> okay, there's no way I'm going to do a section this big today, but let's just like map it off anyway. Okay, wait, how far can the cam see? Oh, not very far. I mean, I can move it. I like the zoomed in look where you can actually see the characters on there. Kiki, no. I think I want to go up to this U-turn thing, so I might just move the camera instead. Cause I like it up to here. That's a nice hefty section. Do I usually tape on the plastic or on the mat? Cause this is not sticking to the plastic. Whatever you'd, you ever you'd. 
Oh god, how big is this section? Maybe I shouldn't have gone that far. I mean, that's just barely out of view. That's okay. <laughs> no BB. Not for BBs. Tiki makes me want a cat. Her pesky behavior makes you want a cat. Never seen anyone do diamond painting before. Oh. Oops. I don't know why I cut it down the middle because like, now I don't have the piece to put back on. I guess I, oh, I thought it would be easier to cut. But also the camera's in my way. Maybe I should just use a knife. I still have that like pre-stream frazzle. Shh, Bailey, you're okay, Bailey. Calm down now. Don't need too much force. You don't want to cut through the actual canvas. Okay, now I have two separate pieces of plastic, so that was stupid of me. Don't know why I did that, because I'm not gonna fill this whole section today. Also, maybe I should have stuck this directly to the canvas. Like, maybe, that must be what I used to do. Instead of being stuck on the plastic, maybe I'll just move it over a couple, a few rows then. Because, like, it's not sticking to the plastic. Although I kind of liked that upper spot. Maybe we'll just cut a few more rows off. If I can freaking see where they are. Okay, go here. It should be here. Oh, shit. Why is this so difficult? Bought a diamond painting during lockdown, still haven't finished it. <laughs> I mean, they take a long time. Like, the ones I got done in, like, just over a week, that's because I was doing that all day, every day, for the sake of a video, you know? Okay, wait, one. Okay. Plus, like, it can strain your eyes, it can make your back hurt. <laughs> so, you need breaks. Is it just me or is that lower? See, really what I should be doing is a tall section that isn't very deep, because that's better for the angle of the camera. But, whatever. You also don't want the face cam blocking it. Okay, read some chat. <laughs> How come all those other alerts didn't come through? I saw people's resubs in chat and they did not come through. The washi tape is just marking off the area because like this plastic is clear. How can you tell where the plastic starts and where it ends? It's like, a distinctive rectangle so I know what section's currently uncovered. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired in there already. <laughs> Little baby. This one's so pretty. <laughs> Just unrolling the mat or like looking at the drills, just the colors that we have. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> 
you like square or round more? Um, I think I kind of like the look of square since there's no gaps. Although you don't really see the gaps with the rounds, but I just kind of like you're covering the whole surface. It's satisfying that way. So I want to start with something that's like a little more abundant over here so I can rest my wrist on it as I move over. Ooh. Don't want to do the pinkies or blueies though. Like maybe M would be a good place to start. I'm like already going cross-eyed looking at this. <laughs> How many ABs? Um, four. Which I think is the most I've seen. I haven't done that many diamond paintings, but. Big green thingy. Nah, yeah, that's just like one little section. Cause then my wrist is sitting on all the sticky over here. I mean, I can lay down some plastic, but. I'm trying to do something that's on the far left. So we're gonna do M. Okay, glare from the window. I need this like propped up or something. <laughs> M, which, wait, what color is M? It's kind of periwinkle. Oh, here. I guess it's not really periwinkle. It looked periwinkle on the legend. I mean, it's periwinkle adjacent. I got a new job and unfortunately with my schedule, probably won't be able to watch too many live streams live. No, I mean, well, congrats on the new job, but also rip. <laughs> My name's actually Miranda. I'm on my husband's YouTube. Just started diamond painting last month and almost done three already. Didn't realize how therapeutic it was. That's a lot to finish, holy. I mean, I guess there's different sizes of diamond paintings, but that's a lot of work. I'm sitting here like, do I need reading glasses? <laughs> I mean, I can see clearly, but I feel like my eyes are straining a little bit. Wait, should I be using the different tip? I've got like a six tip. Although this three tip is like kind of nice. It's easier to manage three at a time, but I do have one that can hold more drills, which would be nice for this section, this bunch of M's in a straight line. Uh, maybe it's in here. <laughs> Wait, what's this one? Oh, it's the same. Okay. Top down view's got that glare. Do you want to lay down a little bit of plastic just to set this on? <laughs> Giving me motivation to do more of the Hey Guys diamond painting. For my birthday, I'm getting my first diamond art club diamond painting. Ooh. Let's actually start a little bit lower. Oops. Except I grabbed too many. <laughs> So this is a little far from the camera right now, but we'll get closer. Have you guys seen those like, those diamond painting TikToks, but they add stupid sound effects to, like they'll add fake sticky noises and stuff over top. And I'm like, stop. They're trying to make it ASMR, but it's like really loud and grating, but it's also clearly not the original sound. I see that too with makeup videos where it's like some foaming cleanser and they just insert this loud foamy noise. And I'm like, you 
are ruining it. There's also that video, which you've probably seen, of this strawberry or this bunny eating strawberries that are all stuck to like a little bush. <laughs> like it's not a strawberry plant. And there's like this gross chewing noise added over top. And I'm like, you're trying to make it cute, but it, it's not. It drives me insane. <laughs> the diamond, this diamond thing is called lac. Maybe I should have put that on the photo too. It's called lac for a couple of reasons. Because the word has a lot of meanings. First of all, it's French for lake and she's in a body of water. But it's also milky water and lac means milk. Well, for example, lactating, lactose. So it's a milky lake. It's a lacky lac. I accidentally cut diamond painting with my exacto knife. Yeah, you have to be real careful. <laughs> it just needs the slightest bit of pressure to cut through the plastic. Sorry, you probably can't really see this edge. It's just out of view. Let me go faster. Should have cut a section that was taller than wider. What has been your most profitable print? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, maybe the meeting? I don't know. I feel like I've restocked that one a lot. With the three cats in the forest. Thank you. <laughs> no M's down here. Like, I like a little spot to set the tray, but maybe I should have done that green spot first. <laughs> Why did I grab an individual one? I don't know. Let's give these a new shake. Do you speak French? Technically, yes. Although I don't use it. haven't used my French in so long that I forget a lot of stuff. Like, I understand it better than I speak it. Because I forget a lot of vocab words all the time. Loved your latest vlog, seems so cozy. <laughs> yeah, it was a good change of pace, getting out of the house, going on a little adventure. But man, vlogging with my phone was so annoying. <laughs> it's like so zoomed in. I even had it on the wide video setting, like the wider setting, but there is no wide lens on that phone. It's a it's a Galaxy S9. It's getting kind of old. And then I was wading through the water with it and I was like, don't drop it. It's, the screen is cracked. It's not waterproof anymore. Too much wet. That window. I know that too. I was like, I felt like every time I go to film, there's either music playing or there's wind <laughs> so it's like okay we'll do some voiceover i'd like a couple music sections but 
And then I was like, I gotta do some voiceover because like, this is awful for a vlog. It's also a shame the weather was great the day we left and the smoke was kind of clearing. <laughs> Yeah, the this has is sticky and that's how they're sticking on there. It's got glue. Has everyone had their chance to do a Bailey Diamond painting at this point? <laughs> Maybe. Are you sticking with Android when you upgrade your phone? Oh, for sure. I just, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> every time I go to upgrade my phone, I'm like, I'm gonna get a Pixel and then I don't. <laughs> like I was looking up Pixel 7 versus like Galaxy S23, and I was like, I think I want the S23. <laughs> it's hard though, cause like, I really wanna base my decision off of how well it films videos and how well it can stabilize, like for vlog videos. Sometimes they're like, this video was shot on this phone. And I'm like, yeah, but it's on a tripod. Like I need to know, I want a camera that's good for vlogging when I'm like out and about and good for TikToks, you know? So a few months ago, I was looking at all the comparisons, like, yeah, a bunch of side-by-side -side video, like people who are vlogging out and about and they have both phones and they'll film the same thing with both phones. I'm like, oh, I'd love you. And I just don't think I can go back to iPhone. Okay, I've had it too good for too long. I can't go back. I was also trying to help my stepdad, but he has an iPhone and so I was like struggling to do anything on it. <laughs> I'm like holding the bottom of the screen to go back home. It's not working. There's also no like, no easy way to go back. And I'm like, help. Forgot how annoying these phones are. Bailey, what? You wanna talk old phones? I'm still using a Galaxy S3. Oh my God, how is that thing functioning? Oh my God, Christian's mom just recently stopped using her S6 and I thought that was ancient. But hey, if it's working, Then, by all means, continue to use it. Whenever I look at iPhones, I'm like, wow, everything looks the same as my iPhone 4 did. It makes it feel dated to me. <laughs> they do got good video though, I will say. But I feel like TikTok is finally making phone manufacturers prioritize video a bit more instead of being like, look at these photos we can take. And I'm like, I don't care. Tell me about your video. So I feel like they've been taking video a little more seriously in recent years. I like this camera angle with the gallery wall. I know, isn't it a cute backdrop? This is really zoomed out. <laughs> Who is behaving now? Pro Elite Dancer is here. Hey, Tommy. Okay, has anyone been like resubbing or anything and it's not, I think I'm having an issue with my alert. I don't remember seeing anything in chat, but earlier I definitely saw some come through like renewing memberships and it never popped up. I'm trying a new alert system, but. Mm 
Maybe it's the one months that aren't coming through. Because, see, I'm getting some alerts. Wait. Because, like, Liekis came through. It was a gifted, and it's not coming through as gifted, first of all. Second of all, it says two times channel member, so I'm like... Does that mean it's their one month anniversary or two month? You know what I'm saying? Hope you're feeling better. I'm resting my leg. Have an x-ray Friday. Hope your belly feels better. Wait, what's going on with your leg? I'm feeling mostly better. I reset, but there was no alert. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying a new alert system, but I think it's like even more glitchy. Cause like, for example, the gifted subs are not coming through as gifted, which is funny. Cause when I test it, like you can do test alerts while you're setting up all your settings and it showed up properly for the gifted. I wasn't sure how it was going to detect a one month membership, but once a member, always a member. Wait, what the fuck? Once a member, always a member. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're like... Oh, you guys... oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Everything's coming through all of a sudden. Okay, wait. Tracy's was just now. Wait, what the hell is happening? Maybe it's because I have this open. Because, yeah, there's a recurring membership setting. But it says month subscribed is at least, it says subscribed first of all. <laughs> month subscribed is at least two. But if I set it to one, then new memberships come through as a resub. Let me actually just test this now that we're live. There, I set it to be at least one and I'm gonna replay Tracy's. Once a member, always a member. Okay, yeah, that's a problem. Also, why am I getting double? Wait, what? Wait a minute. What was that? Hold on. Once a member, always a member. Oh, because I didn't hit save. I'm like on on my <laughs> settings, it's coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to have that set as at least two, but that means that doesn't include one month subs. So maybe one month renewals are not coming through at all. But also, how come the gifted one? Maybe I'll say pick an alert randomly when more than one matches. Because the gift memberships didn't come through as gifts, they came up as renewals. Which is interesting. Annoying. So maybe the one months are falling through the cracks. Let me scroll up a bit. So for example, Julie's was a recent one. Thank you for the one month, Julie. So yeah, my other alerts were depicting one months as new ones and this, this alert system isn't detecting them at all. So that's nice. that wouldn't okay so that one's a one month i'm wondering if all the ones that aren't coming through are the one month so i can't scroll up any further than that <sighs> i'm just a lucky one i mean new memberships seem to be coming through unless you mean because i keep replaying yours <laughs> but it's the one month resubs that aren't coming through and the gifts see if i click play on gift Okay, well, there's double audio because it's playing in OBS and in my preview, but in honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. That's what it's supposed to play. Wow. Do I just go back to my original alerts then? I wonder if I can set up a gift alert with the old system, like with Streamlabs. 
probably not something I should look into right now. <laughs> Are you gonna be creating a new notepad design? I really like them and use them at work for notes. Yes, I actually made one yesterday. <laughs> Strawberry themed. Okay, add a variation. Ooh. Okay, membership gift amount. Wait. Oh, user gifted at least one. Sorry, I'm like, ooh, let's try this. See this, it makes, it's annoying doing this on stream, but at the same time, like, I, you know, I thought it was all good, right? You test these things off stream, but you don't know until you're actually streaming. <gasps> Turkey Teen, thank you for the membership. I would love to do one of your designs as a cross stitch. Is that possible? I mean, it's possible. I, I don't really know anything about cross stitching, but you'd have to create, like you'd have to, did it digitize it pixelate it i don't know what the term would be okay pictures youtube streams uh, alerts gifts wait am i doing yeah image okay Let's do that. And then the sound. Gift membership. In honor of employee bro. <laughs> okay. Gifted, when viewer gifts at least one membership at once, removes mass gifted members in favor of one variation. What? I don't know what that means. But what I'm gonna do is go back to my old alerts. Dang it, Stream Elements, I really thought we were going to be friends. I thought we were going to be buddies. That means I got to rescale this because I scaled it up. Okay, now I'm going to retest this. Oh, wait. <gasps> wait, I can't use that software now. I need to use this software. Or this. <clears throat> yes, I know it's no longer supported. Leave me alone. I can't just open my little shortcut anymore. I actually gotta go to Streamlabs to the dashboard and pop out a window. I had a little program like pinned to my taskbar. It was great. Okay, recent events. There are no recent events. Yes, there are. Oh, there they are. Okay. But this shows all the same alerts that we've had. This doesn't show the missing one. Oh no, maybe it's not Streamlabs fault. <laughs> None of the one months are showing up in here. Once a member, always a member. Oh yeah, also I didn't swap out. First of all, that needs to be bolded. 
because I can't really read that. Now, wait, also this doesn't come through as gifted on here either. Well, maybe YouTube changed something. Like those gifted memberships, it doesn't show that they were gifted. Ugh, whatever, dude. We tried. <laughs> Maybe something changed with YouTube, because, like, these alerts should be coming through, too. Like, they're not even in the list. This list looks exactly like the other list did from the other software. <sighs> Thank you, Terry Lynn, for the two months. I don't think I read that one out loud. me getting angry at technology yeah the alerts were so, so straightforward on twitch but that's the problem though is that all these like this software and like these websites they were designed for twitch and then they released features for youtube and so like the stuff's not programmed right because they kind of just copy pasted their twitch settings and it's like no it works differently on YouTube. Like, I don't know what else there really is beyond stream elements and stream labs for alerts. I tried Googling stuff. It's like impossible to troubleshoot anything with YouTube live too, because when you search stuff, it'll just give you results on YouTube, but I want results about YouTube. I mean, one thing to do would be make it so only new memberships get alerts. Wait, speaking of new, here's a new one. Nami Naeko, thank you so much. Let's see if this comes through. Although new memberships have been coming through, so this should. We have that old dancing Squidward gift though for the member renewal, but it's okay. I can fix it another time. Because now I'm curious if the one months will come through with Streamlabs. Because they used to. They would come through as a new membership, but like they would come through. But now I'm not so sure because it's not on the list at all. I think I like square drills a little more. Cause you're like really filling the canvas. I'm like maybe I should just keep using this little three piece dude. Even though the other one can hold six drills comfortably. This one, it maybe is just faster to do three and three. Last weekend I got the game Disney Dreamlight Valley. Are you liking it? The last two vlogs is outing shirts have been on point. <laughs> it's been the same shirt. If you're talking about that bird shirt. Okay, now for this long line though, I kind of do want this big guy. See, then I feel like I have to kind of fix some of them. Whereas if I'm just using the triple, the placement's a little better. No fixing required. Well, sometimes. <laughs> like this
Yeah, you also hear that little click with the square. I kind of do like that. I wonder if the circles are less likely to pop off though since they're not as crowded. Like they're still touching end to end, but maybe you need a bit more precision with square. How are you and how's the smoke? I'm pretty good. Smoke is actually mostly gone. We had a thunderstorm. Uh, was that last night or the night before? Maybe night before. And it just cleared everything away. I feel like I saw multiple comments and I'm like, where'd those other ones go? Cats are good. Square gels also take longer because the diamonds are smaller than the round ones. Are they? Like there's more diamonds per painting? Are you sure? I mean, yeah, I mean, that'd be kind of a big square. I'm like, I need to go grab some square ones and <laughs> come there. I found round to actually pop off the canvas more. Oh. I have a bigger placer and four square drills. For square drills, it fits 10, but for round, it fits nine. Last night I dreamt I was playing Fall Guys with Bailey and some stream people, but we were like physically inside the game. We were the beans. <laughs> I maxed out the season pass just barely. Cause a new one started yesterday. So I was like, I was desperate. Cause I don't do my dailies every day. And so I was panicking. Plus out of like a 10 day span, we were home for two of those days. I mean, technically like Monday, I think, like Monday night I did my dailies. Then I got in Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we were gone Thursday, first thing in the morning. And then we got home Sunday night and I like <laughs> squeezed in some dailies and then, oh yeah. I had to do a bit of like non-daily grinding. Like once I caught up on my dailies on the last day, I was level 114 and I had to get to level 120 and I was like, oh God, this is gonna be a lot of games. I also didn't realize there were those custom show dailies. I mean, I don't know when they implemented that, but I didn't notice it was there till like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago. And I was like, oh, I can get extra fame by doing some customs. And then I just do extreme mode and I jump off the edge right away. Because <laughs> they were playing by herself, so it's like... For the sake of speed, do extreme party and then just jump off the edge. Because you have to play customs 10 times. You don't have to win. <laughs> Oop, that's too many drills. They have the same number of diamonds. The rounds actually take more space. But if the rounds take more space, then they don't have the same number of diamonds. Unless the mats are two different sizes. How do you keep pet hair off the sticky mat? I don't. I mean, sometimes I pick it off with my X-Acto knife or tweezers. It just stays underneath. The canvas is usually bigger. Damn. It does make sense. Like looking at this, I'm thinking if this whole square was one drill, like they're definitely smaller than that for the squares. You learn something new every day. It's not in the right spot. And they're all percents. Wait, where does the M end? Oh, there. Okay. Ugh. We're doing M and not percent. <laughs> M-E percent.
daily gaming tips and tricks. <laughs> it actually, those customs also count for your dailies for like play any show. You have to play six times. The customs also count for that. So you can kind of blow through a lot of your dailies by just killing yourself in customs. The customs extra fame had me finishing early. <laughs> Yeah, once I figured that out, I was like, where has this been my whole life? I never noticed this. Especially once they added two, like, double fame at the end of the fame pass. I was like, hell yeah. Although I'm kind of sad I never got to the end on the first. Like, of the three season passes for this season, the first one I never finished. That's why I'm like, I need to finish it this time. And I'm getting close to unlocking the red number one banner. So that's exciting. God. <laughs> when the tray is sticking to the painting, but you're like, please let me lift you up without sending the drills flying. Your kitties crack me up every time I watch the vlogs. They do be silly. Watch her live and do a diamond painting as well as you. <laughs> Making me want to play Fall Guys. Just unlock the pattern that looks like a pineapple. Sweet, that's pretty high rank. I miss diamond painting, I need to get back into it. I did a, do a Peter Rabbit one recently, but it was small. Did y'all hear about DIY Moon Shop? Heard they shut down and didn't refund their customers for orders. Wait, what kind of a website was that? Did they have craft supplies? DIY Moon? Any plans for the summer? Uh. I mean, I've kind of used up most of my plans. It's been, I've been so busy, it feels like I've hardly been home. Except now we're going to be home for a while. But we have people visiting us, I guess. Like, Christian's parents are coming tomorrow. And Christian's dad's going to build, like, an organizer in the garage to go right next to the, to the door. Because right now you, like go out the door and there's railing to your left and you have to go down a little set of stairs, but there's a gap between the railing and the wall, like a pretty big gap. So we're gonna remove the railing on that side and have like this big storage thing there. Yeah, anyway. They're coming tomorrow. They're gonna maybe come today, but there was a change of plans. And then um, in August, I know my brother will be down for one weekend, although they're mainly visiting my sister-in-law's sister or cousin wait cousin no who what do you mean your sister i don't know <laughs> somebody i thought she said sister anyway so we might meet up for a day or something and also, some of our Vancouver friends are going to be passing through at some point and will stay with us. But, yeah. I mean, I've been in a lot of places. I mean, New Year's, I was in Vegas. And then we were home for a while, but then for Christian's birthday, we went back to Vegas. And, I mean, I was in Medicine Hat also in May, 
right. I forgot about that because there was Christian's birthday end of April. Then May went to Medicine Hat for my mom's birthday. And then we were in Vancouver for Bachelor Bachelorette party, also May. And in June, we were in Medicine Hat twice, like back-to-back -back weekends. I thought there was something else in June. I don't know. And then this month, back to Vancouver for a wedding and then to the lake. We've been all over the place. We've been all over the place. So I'm glad to just be home for a while. Get some stuff done. Come to Vegas again. <laughs> Do you find diamond painting kind of meditative? Yeah. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Selena. I was just in my Able Sister shop and there's a knockoff TikTok shirt. I miss that crunch of square drills. This is like too silent. When you put down the square drills, they're like Hey Abacus. I decided to this monthly pattern challenge for August. Wait, it's a monthly challenge in August? Oh, like a month long. Like a daily challenge? A daily ch month long challenge? Good luck. <laughs> what kind of wax do you use? I've started using putty from Rhonda's Crafty Corner on Etsy. I find it sticks better and you don't need to change it as much as the red wax. This is just the red wax. I am a very basic diamond painter. I do like one diamond painting a year, if that. <laughs> I don't have all the fancy supplies, but you know, you don't really need them. If you do diamond painting a lot, yeah, there's stuff you might want to get, but eh. My face is right up in this mic when I'm actually diamond painting. I'm like, hello. My mouth is right here. Can you hear me breathing? <laughs> diamond painting ASMR. <laughs> Except these round ones are so silent. You get a bit of sticky sounds though. And you get the like jar shaking sounds. And see, this is how art works. This is how real art works. You see this? Wow. Masterpiece. Masterpiece, okay? Look, this is this what we call art, okay? <laughs> I love that sound bite. Hey, Millie. I did October last year, definitely got burnt out. Might skip a few days next month. <laughs> Those monthly challenges, it's like a full-time job. I 
I feel like the only people who succeed are the ones who were like secretly prepping several illustrations in advance throughout the year and then they drop them all in the same month. But even that's still a lot of work. I gotta look up for a bit. Look out the window. How are my eyes twitching already? <laughs> I've completed Inktober every year since 2016 and I don't prep anything. I do it all day of. How do you have time for that? What the hell? You're a machine. The body's already protesting. <laughs> okay, I think I will we'll actually do some of these greens next because it's where I keep wanting to set the tray. So that's a good spot to do me thinks. There's H, J, no, H, L, K. Oh, there's some J's. Let's do H, H, or as the Brits say, H. H. It's really not many of that color. In the knitting community, we have knit-alongs, usually a month-long challenge to knit something, but we don't really care if people finish or not. It's just fun to do something together. It's like book club, but it's a knitting club. Perfect stream to listen to while sewing. Thank you. Hey, Jenny. Enjoy your sewing. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? Canada, more specifically, I'm from Saskatchewan even though I lived in BC for a long time and recently moved to Alberta. I am from Gravelberg, Saskatchewan. I got dropped one. Okay, that was like really crooked. Why did I do that? If I get the job in Specsavers, Bailey, send me your prescription. I'll send you glasses with a cheap price. I don't have a prescription. I got LASIK. Although I will need reading glasses someday. I just caught myself doing the extend arm to read better thing. A new eye check is necessary, I think. <laughs> See, I think I'm still okay because I hold my phone close to my face and my Kindle. But I will say this diamond painting's straining my eyes a bit. It helps that I look up towards chat, which is kind of like a little further, and then I can look out the window if I need to focus on something even further. Why did I already know that? Lol, I'm all the way down in Alabama. <laughs> Hello, Bailey. I'm late. Traveled to Belgium to buy chocolate. Hope you had a great wedding. Your dress was absolutely stunning. Thank you. Um, that makes it sound like it was my wedding, in case anyone doesn't know that it was not my wedding. 
<laughs> I hope your trip was good. I hope you got all the good chocolate. Was in Saskatchewan a Native American Indian tribe? Mm, I don't know. I never heard that. <laughs> I mean, there were a lot. I mean, were slash are a lot of Native tribes there. Although I'm not sure on the origin of the name Saskatchewan. Currently working on a threaded bracelet for my GF while watching. <laughs> I know there are several YouTubers that have started calling stitch alongs start alongs because we tend to start projects but not finish them. <laughs> These all look so similar on the mat. It's like, especially because there's H's and K's. Like what, an H and a K look pretty similar. It's like an H with a little, like someone just punched in the side of an H and then you have a K. And so I'm looking at this like, the color looks the same. The letter looks the same. I think I got them all. Oh my God, I'm actually wearing eyeliner today. Don't let my eyes water. <laughs> it means fast flowing river or something in a native language. So swift current Saskatchewan is just like swift current, swift current. Cree according to Google. Oh, hi, I have lack in my stash. Hey, Nancy. The K is a punched H, I like that. <laughs> I just thought of it now, I'm like, why do these look so similar? Well, let's do K next then, okay? Um, why is there a pink drill in here? Wait, anyone that's like half full. Not really liking this new pass, I'll save my $7. Wait, for Fall Guys? Because you should have earned enough show bucks in the last pass for the current pass. Well, there was more than enough, actually. I mathed it out, because Christian was asking about it, and I like counted up the show bucks, and I was like, oh, there's like seven or 800 show bucks in the last pass, and then the next pass cost 600. But um, I agree that <laughs> I was looking through the stuff and I'm like, I'm not gonna wear most of this. <laughs> Although the milk carton though, and the strawberry milk carton, the strawberry milk carton. But also, okay, there's, in the season pass, there's a new color and new faceplate that look just like plastic chrome, at least like at first glance. Maybe I gotta put on a pattern because I wasn't wearing a pattern. I'm like, that looks just like plastic chrome. The capybara is cute. <laughs> It's all right. Capybaras kind of freak me out. <laughs> I was like, ooh, what's the 120 tier skin? I look pink capybara. <laughs> Damn. Although I do like the pink one more than the brown one. 
capybara, 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 something. That TikTok sound. I don't know where it originates from, but I hear it on TikTok. <laughs> capybara, capybara, capybara. The J's and L's also look similar. An L is just a backwards J. Why would they do this to me? Also, I was really disappointed when I logged on yesterday to do my dailies. I'm like, yeah, new season pass. And I look at the custom shows and it's still those fucking block shows that have been there for like a month. Like I thought there was a new pool of levels dropping with each season pass. Cause they're like, we have 50 new creative levels and I thought we were getting them like in batches like that, but I, maybe they've already released them all. But also like they used to swap out those four individual rounds weekly and then they stopped and now they're just, they're stuck on these co-op rounds and I refuse to play those cause they're painful. <laughs> I'm like enough, enough of these stupid co-op rounds. Give me something new. Like literally just pick from the existing level pool. You don't, Ooh. Also, I'm so annoyed at solo show. Like I've hardly been playing solo show, except I did for a couple days to try to finish the season pass. Cause I just felt like I was getting more fame. I don't know, maybe I wasn't. <laughs> I got a lot of crowns though, but I hate like the new finals that are just like regular race rounds, but it's the final and I'm like, this is so stupid. Even though I do like, like Fall Mountain's a race final and I love it. And Lost Temple, but like, anyway, I just feel like solo show is too oversaturated with custom rounds. Like all, it's like you don't even see the original Fall Guys levels anymore. And I know a lot of them are vaulted, but like of the unvaulted ones, you'd hardly see them. Unless it's like, oh, DoorDash for the 10 billionth time. So I've been hardly doing solos, but now I was kind of like getting a newfound appreciation for it the last couple days, but... When it's one of the new levels as a final, I get so mad. So probably no capybara at the end of March. I mean, it could happen. They got freaky snoots. There's just a missing feeling with the custom rounds. Yeah, it's because there's not a good variety of obstacles and the future themed ones or like whatever, like that pick, the low poly themed one. I feel like a lot of stuff is so plain looking, but it's just like, since there's such a small amount of obstacles in the customs pool, it's like, oh, we have, here's more um, conveyor belts. It's like all conveyor belts and punchy fists. It feels like that's what every level is made up of. And it just, and those like bouncy, boingy obstacles. The ones with the timed boing. And I hate those. Oh yeah, I'll watch the new Barbie. Kind of a bummer how the newest fame path has like four outfits and then the same outfits, but in a different color. <laughs> I mean, I think the color variants are all above level 40 though. Cause I think like the fame path is technically to 40 and then the rest are bonus. Like I kind of do like when there are multiple 
color variants, but it would be nice if maybe like the color variants were just regular shop items for kudos or something. And then there weren't dupes in the fame path. Maybe that would be one way to do it. Fell asleep. Hi, Bailey. <laughs> hey, Karen. I also think I lost all my points. Wait, like channel points? Off to see new Barbie tonight. Wait, it's... Is it like an early... It's tonight te technically opening. Ah! Oh, fuck. It just exploded everywhere. I thought it was coming out on the 21st. Wait, I probably should have bought tickets already. Oh, shit. Although I don't know when Christian's pa how long Christian's parents are staying. So they're coming up tomorrow. Maybe they can watch it with us. Although we'll be kind of busy. It opened in New Zealand on the 19th. So today? <laughs> I guess maybe it's tomorrow in New Zealand. <laughs> Today's the 19th for me. My kudo store has been carrying the same stuff from before free to play and the same free to play items. I don't want honey hands. Maybe that's the only stuff that you haven't purchased. Like, if it's not rotating weekly or whatever, that might be the only free-to-play stuff you haven't purchased yet. Like, my daily shop doesn't even update anymore. It's all grayed out because I have everything. Although, for Showbox items... I don't have everything, but I mean, for like kudos items. But there's that one pineapple skin that I missed getting when the game was, or before, from before free to play. And it, it was just a kudos item, but I just missed it because I didn't play during those three days or something. And then when the game went free to play, it's now a Showbox skin. And I'm like, no! Like not because I wouldn't. It's not when I want that badly, but it it just irks me that that is the one free or from before free to play skin that I didn't get. So like the completionist in me is like, why? I had a brand account for some reason, so I found out that I could merge it, but it killed all my history. What? Rip. What the hell? <laughs> Welcome back, Tommy. I haven't bought any kudos things in like months because it keeps cycling the same three crappy things I don't want. Maybe that's all there is left. I have so much kudos that I buy everything even if I don't want it. <laughs> okay, now let's do J and then the green section will be done. Why have they made kudos so worthless? 
I mean, if you have a ton from before free to play, then yeah, they feel kind of worthless. But they're like a precious commodity to new players because they get so such few kudos. I just don't understand why they're so stingy with doling out kudos, considering there's not even that many kudos items to buy, like... It's not a paid currency, so like just... Like, I miss the days when you would earn kudos from playing. Because then you got like some kind of reward for playing. And you could farm kudos, it was kind of like an incentive to keep playing. Because now once you're done your season pass, there's not really an incentive to keep playing. Although I'm finding it harder to finish the pass now that they've split them into three smaller ones. Plus I'm not streaming as much, like the Fall Guys stuff as much. I kind of liked the system before where like you could do all your weeklies in one day because then I would do like my Friday stream and I would just complete my weeklies all in one day. <laughs> and now you have to play over three days to complete your weeklies. Because you have to complete your dailies three times. As part of your weeklies. <laughs> I'm like, curse you, media tonic. This is why you should play Fortnite instead. I refuse to drop below 400,000 kudos. <laughs> hey, do it, Jasmine. I was waiting for Saturday's video. Yeah, I tweeted out that I would not be posting. I typically do post updates to Twitter for, for like video updates, scheduled updates. I was gone a lot, but I posted one yesterday instead. I don't know if you've seen that one, the the lake trip. That was sort of like in place of the Saturday vlog. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, this view is okay. Ugh. This new fame pass ends around August 21st. What games would you recommend for unwinding cozy games? Oof. I mean, I don't play that many games like that. I, mean, I don't play many games in general. The ones I've played that are like that, I guess would be like Disney Dream Life Valley and Animal Crossing. <laughs> I mean, I find Breath of the Wild pretty relaxing. Until you get to a weird enemy and you're like, ah! But I just find the, the exploration very therapeutic. Okay. Let's maybe do some of these pinks because again, then we're kind of filling the bottom. I can rest my wrist here, rest the tray. And these pinks seem to be all different than these pinks. Well, there's some G's there and here and here but other than that it seems like that's kind of a different set of pinks so yeah let's carry on down here let's maybe do f f that so many colors hey yumi Hey, Simi. Why are you doing diamond art? I just do it occasionally. I don't know. It's one of my hobbies. And it's a pretty good stream activity. People have been begging for this, let me tell you. I was feeling confident this weekend, so I posted a selfie with the caption, I am an embarrassment of riches, and Bailey commented right away saying, nope, just an embarrassment, honey bunch. <laughs> the 
the daily streams were nice, but it's kind of cool that now there's stuff that transpires between them for us to get updated on. Like, one week Bales is like, I'm embroidering and I just love it. Variety. <laughs> Saw a TikTok about an upcoming indie game that's entirely hand painted. Ooh. Where is this? F? Okay. See, how come they have E's and F's that are both really similar pinks? An F and an E look really similar, okay. You could have, like, use an F for a blue color somewhere else. Why is there so much cat hair? I gamble 999 and rolled a six mules. I mean, I guess that's a kind of a small amount compared to your total. People are really banking the bucks now. So Bailey, someone ate my double stuffed Oreos and all I want is to get double stuffed. <laughs> Someone ate your Oreos? Is this like Patrick when he's like, who ate my, was it a chocolate bar? <laughs> he had like brown all around his mouth. Who ate my candy bar? Working and working. I'm excited for Little Kitty Big City. Clearly this isn't <laughs> double stut Tommy. Well, clearly this isn't a stream for us religious people. <laughs> Just Dance made a coach after a Just Dance stream and it wasn't me. <laughs> Rude. We should boycott. These F's and E's. What? Oops. I only grabbed two. F-E, Fire Emblem. Oh, my eyes. I was just on your website looking for digital downloads of your art. Which email do I use to discuss possible purchase? I mean, if it's a question about the shop, you can use support at bleej.com. If you have a question, you can ask here too. <laughs> if it's something non-private. It's just about the digital downloads. Bailey reminding me to work on my lack. Lost 500 in the heist. Rip.
my eyes get like that too. I have to use drops if I'm doing a lot of focus and stops them from straining so much or shaking. I feel like this is, I've never had it this bad diamond painting. What's the deal? Although I don't know how much drops would help because like my eyes are watering. So like they're moist. But then I'm trying to see through the tears. Baby, can you see through the tears? Love you more than those bitches before. Say you'll remember. Say you'll remember, oh baby. I'm also a little sniffly, but that happens on stream a lot if I'm like bending forward. Have fun glamping. I mean, this was beyond glamping. This was just lake house. <laughs> it's so hard not to call it camping because that's what we've always done. But I'm like, no, this is different this year. This is not the same. Although I like it. It's like the joys of camp camping with the comfort of not camping. I mean, we stayed in the camper trailer, so like... That was akin to camping, but trailers are freaking fancy. Like whenever I camp, I'm in a tent. Even back in the day with our parents, like the adults stayed in the campers and the kids slept in tents, mostly for privacy. Like the campers could sleep more people, but it was like, we've got our own territory, you know? <laughs> And I'm like, okay, because like when when my mom said there was a park model camper there, I thought it was going to be like a small old camper or something. And it's like a huge full size camper. And I'm like, oh my God. And she said there was a mobile home there or like a trailer home. But like for some reason, I thought it would be like a super tiny thing, not like a full size trailer home. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, we got a bit of F up here. Oh, it's just open. Okay. Is this your painting? Yeah, this is a diamond painting of my artwork. Is it weird that I only do things of my own artwork? I mean, I've got so many, not enough to last me a while. Cause I have what, seven diamond paintings? Or no, five, wait, well no, we started with three. What is our six? No, well, how many did I start with? Could be a lack at peace. Wait, was the meeting part of round two? Oh, I can't remember. Do I have five? I don't even know my own stuff. I thought I started with four and then did three more, maybe? Which would be seven. Okay, and no F's up there. How to get your painting made into diamond art. Um, these are officially licensed through a diamond painting company called Diamond Art Club, but there are also websites where you can get a custom one made, like you upload artwork and then they'll send you a custom one, kind of like I can get custom puzzles made. But these are actually for sale to the public through Diamond Art Club. 
<laughs> Rude YouTube, why'd you eject me from the stream, eh? Pourquoi? <laughs> eh? <laughs> That's the first eh I've seen in chat. <laughs> Yeah, Vera was one of the OGs. I think you have to gamble at least 10. I don't think you can gamble a single point. I saw a reel where someone roasted a Rice Krispie treat over a campfire and it looked so good. I want to try it. <gasps> that would be good. It'd be like a little melty. Maybe a little bit crispier on the edge. Hmm. Quick, let's go back to the lake. I gotta try something. Oh, I guess we have our own fire pit here. Quick, let's go back to the lake. <laughs> Got your bakery one, haven't started it yet. Why on the bakery one did they make one corner green? Like, I don't know who digitized that one, but like, I'm suing. Although I guess if you have extra purples at home, you can just like fix it. I kind of wish bakery was bigger. Like it's nice that they, that I do have one that's smaller than the rest. But I kind of wish it was bigger because of like her detail. Like there's a character right in the middle and especially for like her face and stuff. I feel like it could have been bigger. What is your big tray? This? It's a tray to hold the drills. Although this is just a regular size tray. I wish I had the patience for something like this. I got Maybe 10 minutes in me to do it. <laughs> the, what's the least you can gamble? 10. I believe. <laughs> Haven't finished that piece still. I love Hey Guys, so I went ham on it, and now it's on my wall in a frame. <laughs> I'm like, what letter am I doing again? E. 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 There's a bunch of C's here, so I keep just reading C. 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 Cassie. The tray watch hard white. What? Wait, oh, this. I'm like, oh, this is visible on face cam. <laughs> Wait, do you mean this thing? This is just a box with jars in it. I didn't know you could see that. <laughs> I just moved to an apartment with an open balcony. So scared to let the cats out if they get too close to the edge and fall down. Yeah, we let them on ours, although it's only like one level up. So probably wouldn't be too bad if they fell. Although I'm hoping they're too scaredy to try to go over the edge. Cause I've been letting them out onto our balcony here. <laughs> Only like under supervision though. But Midna will like maybe come out for a bit and then she just sits in the doorway, which is kind of what she did with her cat tent also. She's like, hmm, sitting at the door is the same. 
Meanwhile, Kiki's a little more curious. But they're scaredy cats, which is good. My eyes are going to make a new crochet square pattern on maths paper. My cat fell out of my second floor window once. He was fine and he's never done it again. So it was clearly an accident. My house cat got out the other day and then knocked on the door. <laughs> How? <laughs> wow, let me in. I put my cats on a harness and lead and let them explore the deck. <laughs> oh man, I tried putting <laughs> a harness and leash on them the last week. I'm like... I guess that would have been Tuesday because it was before I got sticky. Kiki's I got on easily and then Midna's I was struggling so hard because the under the belly strap kept coming out of its loop. And then I think she was getting really stressed so I gave up. But then Kiki went, when Kiki saw me putting Midna's harness on she went under the bed. Even though she already had hers on. And so then like we couldn't just get her. Because I was going to take her into the backyard. They seemed curious about it. Like whenever I'm out there watering flowers, they're watching me and Midna will sit by the door. I should have just taken Kiki out once I had her harnessed. Because I actually had her leash clipped on. And then I unclipped it while I was getting Midna's harness on. And then <laughs> Kiki ran under the bed. But I'm also like, should I even keep trying to take them out on harness and leash? Because like they're going to get a taste for the outdoors. Right now they're scared of the outdoors and... They're probably better off that way. It's just kind of sad. I'm like, come on, you know you love sniffing all the stuff on a harness. At least Kiki would. But I don't want to get to the point where they're trying to escape every time the door's opened, you know? Right now they prefer inside, so maybe I should just let it be. It's also convenient having them harnessed and leash trained. Especially if you gotta like go somewhere. I always enjoy your diamond painting content. It's so cool to see the final product. <laughs> Can't let my cat out anymore because they logged behind my house and now we have coyotes. Oh. You're making me want to work on a diamond painting I've been doing for months. It's a picture of wolves for my mom. Bought it like three years ago and was going to give it to her for her birthday. <laughs> I kind of feel like I need to sneeze, but it's not there. My dad took my cat out during the rain and that wanted that made him want to go out more put a wooden spoon on their harness so they can't get through the rails i've seen that on videos although couldn't they just jump over the railing
Okay. Oh, there's some C's in this corner. I haven't done C yet, but... Don't miss them. Six days to Kiki and Minna's birthday. Oh, I forgot about that. For some reason, I was thinking it already passed, but that was my niece's birthday. Um, maybe I'll take Kiki outside on the harness. No. <laughs> yeah, no plans. Just the huge. Oh my god. Wait, there'll be eight? Yeah, because they were born 2015. Oh my god. There's no way they're already eight. There's an E and a C spot. I'm on it, I'm on it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Are you sure? I'm looking at the background color. That's a good thing about circular drills, as you can see the background. Oh, here. I wonder if that one kind of fell there, or if I put that there. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes they kind of just pop out of the tray too, and then they land on there and you just <laughs> don't notice. Kidding up Vera. Wait, is that the terminology for when you're like organizing and setting up? Like what I did in the other stream where I put them all into jars. <laughs> Oof. I think I did to hiccup and burp at the same time. Mm. We need text to speech so we can tell you stuff. Okay, I have text to speech turned on for. Like maybe I'd have to enable super chats because like I have text to speech turned on for membership renewals, but I don't think YouTube lets you put in a message for membership renewals. Like I have it on, but I don't think YouTube has that feature to begin with. Yep, Kidding is setting up the diamond paintings. Very nice meeting you all. You're a wonderful artist, Bailey. Thank you, T Rose. Good afternoon, Queen and Chatters. For a second, I thought you were on the other platform. Oh, on Twitch. <laughs> Let's do C's. I tried with my two month, but there was no space to do it. Yeah. Mm -mm. To turn on super chats. I mean, I probably should have them on. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> Amber, thank you so much. <gasps> okay, so it's coming through now. Thank you for the one month. It's coming through as a new sub, which is what is to be expected, but thank you so much. That was a good test, because I was like, my alert list was looking kind of weird. Because I switched to stream elements, but then it was being all weird, so I switched back to stream labs for alerts. <laughs> now I'm curious about the gifted sub, though. Quick, someone gift a sub. <laughs> I need to know if the alert works. Because <laughs> it wasn't working in stream elements, it was just doing the resub alert. Because it's like the gifted subs were going to people who are all, or the gifted memberships are going to people who are already members. And so. It was coming through as a renewal. And I was like, it's a gift, not a renewal. But even in, in like the alert list that I look at, like my dashboard, it showed as renewals, not as gifted. But I know Streamlabs shows as gifted in my list. So. Oh, <laughs> a couple of people are doing it. Lauren, thank you for gifting a membership. And Jamie, thank you for gifting. Now let's see if it works.
in honor of employee brotherhood, I present <gasps> to you a gift. It works. I think I need to make the font bigger or something. I mean, for now I can just make the alert size bigger. We need some bold font. In honor there. of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Jamie and Lauren. Once a member, always a member. This I have to update still. When I did the stream elements, I changed this gift. Mel Melly Mallow. Thank you for the two months. So I guess we're just stuck with the one month glitch, but that's the way it be. I quickly just want to check that font size thing, actually. So, okay, wait for member font settings. Well, there's like not a bold option, but maybe I'll just up the font size. So it's at 40 pixels. Maybe let's do 50. And then I don't know if I had to also edit that for the variance. Font open sans, size 50. I might need to go bigger than that. Maybe let's go 60. Oh, oh. Okay, wait, that's member renew, but let's swap out the GIF while we're here, which I know has been iconic. I've always used that dancing Squidward one but I want them to all be pixel SpongeBob. It's still handsome Squidward, but it's a different one. Okay. Save that. And then for the gift, gifted, let's make the font size bigger. 60. 60 pixels. Sick. Once a member, always a member. Wait, what was that? Wait, was that just a test? Did I hit a test button? <laughs> I'm going to replay Mally's. Once a member, always a member. I feel like it needs a thicker stroke, but I don't know how to do that. We'll look into that another time. I just want the text to be big enough that you can read it, you know? Although maybe I'll make the alert box back to be a little smaller. There we go. Doing a diamond painting as well. A Paw Patrol one. <laughs> Thanks, Paige. Hey, welcome to my life. What color is it supposed to be? The alert? The color's fine. I just feel like the text is not very legible. Anyone play this SpongeBob DLC for Power Washer Simulator? I have not, but I keep hearing about it. Saving money for puppy's vet appointment. <laughs> puppy. I am doing C, right? Yes, okay. Watched Julian Solomita and his friends play it and it looked fun. No on bakery. What color is bakery supposed to be, you mean? 
There's a corner that's like green when it should be purple in all four corners. I don't know why they just straight up change the color. Maybe they're like, it's a leaf, it should be green. And I'm like, no. Follow the original artwork, please. But when they make them, they don't like get my approval on them. They just make them. So if you have a bunch of extra purples lying around from past diamond paintings and leftovers from bakery, you could uh, you could make the tree purple. The little plant, the fern, or whatever it is. Got your call girl diamond painting like four years ago that I need to finish. Call girl? Which one's the call girl? Four years ago. Damn, time is flying, man. <laughs> I mean, that checks out because I do like one of these a year and this is my fourth diamond painting. <laughs> I know nothing of diamond painting. How do the diamonds get attached? The canvas is sticky. It's got an adhesive on it. And then these are just plastic. So you just smoosh them onto the sticky. So it's got this plastic cover and then you just peel off as much of it as you want. And so that's why I have this tape here because that's where I've peeled off plastic. I mean, there's a little bit extra because my, right now I don't have that many drills down. And so my hand keeps sticking to my open area. <sighs> I feel like I'm breathing shallow because I'm trying to not heavy breathe into the mic. And then I'm just like, I need oxygen. Plus I'm trying to breathe through my nose, which is like half plugged right now. cat head butts me. <laughs> I have Vera complete waiting for a frame. You're really fast at this. I'd be sticking a couple, stretching, having a cuppa, etc. <laughs> hey, you know, it's not a race. Feel free to chill and take your time, you know. Bailey, you're back. Glad you're feeling better. I missed you last week. Got back from holiday today, celebrating a year with my boy and also managed to buy Eras tour tickets for the UK. Yo, congrats on the, the uh, anniversary and congrats on snagging tickets. Cries in Canada. When it didn't actually pick up the drill, but you think it did.
are the drills made of either acrylic or resin and they, s oh, the drills are, sorry, I don't know why I was reading that as a question. <laughs> Wait, can they be made of resin? <laughs> sorry. Ah. For some reason this leaning, the leaning and talking makes me so sniffly. Like, excuse me, I'm trying to stream here. <laughs> I'm not here to sound all nasty. <laughs> the breathing thing is so me. I work in a very quiet office. I'm self-conscious of any noise I make. I feel like I'm usually a quiet breather, but there are sometimes I'm just not like, sometimes the camera, like my vlog camera picks up. If I have it like right from my mouth and I'm like walking around or something, you just hear this heavy breathing. And sometimes I cut those parts out, like the camping, or not camping vlog, the, the lake vlog, I specifically cut a little section out because I was breathing so loud. Uh. There is a thing you lay down on the diamond painting and it makes all the lines even. What? My kitten is trying to attack your hand in the chat because she's watching the stream with me. Thinking you picked up a drill is called ghost drilling. I do that so many times. <laughs> I love how there's terms for everything. Ghost drilling. <laughs> I like it. Hi, Bailey. Diamond Art Club drills are all resin. They're the best quality, better than acrylic. Oh, okay. You learn something new every day. Oh. What's the term for when you think you've stuck down a drill but you haven't and it's still on your pen? <laughs> like either you just got distracted and didn't place it or like it just didn't stick for whatever reason. Hey, Hilda. Listening to this while reorganizing. Love the diamond paintings you make, Bailey. Thank you. Hey, Kaylee. Just finished work. Nice. Now I know we got C's up in this corner. See what I mean? Okay. Yoo-hoo! Is this diamond painting off something you drew? Yeah, yeah. Like this is the picture I have in the above here. That's one of my drawings. So we're currently in the bottom right corner of it. All 
Are you gonna do all of it? Eventually, not today. This takes like, I mean, I could probably finish this in a week if that's all I did all day, every day. But that ain't happening. <laughs> I mean, this section I've taped off, I probably won't even finish in today's stream. It would be kind of nice if I did. Uh, we're two hours in. Yeah, probably not, but it could happen. Let's do G, which is a light pink. Ah, it doesn't have a good shape because it's full. That's probably this one here. Hey? Yes, it is. Ah. So many Gs. Oh yeah, the sky is full of Gs, whoa. Sound of you placing diamonds is so satisfying. <laughs> Even more so with the square drills when you do that clicking thing. I present to you a gift. A gift. Jill, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, remember when I set this up, I was wondering, because it said something about congregate, like aggregating them. So I think it's coming through as one alert instead of individual alerts. Jill is gifting 20, 20 memberships, Ferg. Thank you so much. Ferg's at it again. That's a lot. <laughs> Cause yeah, I set up a separate gifting alert, but then it will automatically lump them together. But I like having the separate sound cause then you know right away it's a gifted instead of like renewals and stuff. How will I ask the mokes? It's not even showing me all 20 on the here. Airy, Laura B, Kitty Sakura, Tommy Bora, Sarah Hagood, Sunny, Lemon Meringue. Aaron Fitzgerald, Camille Orlando, Tyler Harper, Moon Cow 728, but that's only like half of them. Oh, that's reading from chat. Monique, V Storm, Allison, Kamisuku, Kalisha Scott, Danielle, Plumb Up, Lisa Higgs, Blaze. Oh, now they're all popping up over here. Ferg is the Bay Stream MVP. I'm like, oh God, with this new setup, I don't have a keyboard in front of me. <laughs> this is me in response to the gift of subs. I think it'll automatically go to people who are more active viewers. Although I don't know if that means chatting necessarily. But... Black G6. Bottoms up. And the double laps. Me when I was finishing my Red Bull. Not a monster, but...
Are you leaving the face for last? Possibly. I do do that a lot, actually. Well, of the other few I've done. <laughs> or maybe I'll just go across. Because, see, if I leave, for example, like, if I do all the sky at once, that's going to be kind of... Mind numbing. Like, if I work... Maybe if I work my way up from here and then like back to the bottom and then up. Because then we kind of get some color variety. I mean, the sky would also be faster to do because I'd definitely bust out this one that holds six and just. It's a game called Sticky Business, where you run a sticker business. I think you would love to play. <laughs> I already run a business, IRL. <laughs> That's a cute idea for a game. So, <laughs> you know how I have my sketchbooks on the way? Well, it turns out the port workers in Vancouver are on strike. <laughs> so, this is horrible timing. And I'm like, oops, I feel like a traitor. I mean, to be fair, I ordered these sketchbooks months ago, but like, I feel like a traitor having a shipment come in. <laughs> That's not supporting the strike. And I'm also like, oh no, my sketchbooks. So anyway, the sketchbooks are... Like, I probably will not have the sketchbooks being released at the same time as everything else. Because... I don't think they're going to get here in time. Like, as the other strawberry items. But at the same time, I do want to do, like, more strawberry stuff in the future. So there's probably going to be a trickle of strawberry products. Like if I do more shopping bags, although I'd probably go with a different manufacturer that has a liar, a lower minimum because <laughs> too many bags. But I can make the cutest pattern with those strawberries. I just made a notepad design yesterday and the washi, and it's pretty cute. But also because the sweaters are going to be an item that kind of trickles out because we can only make so many in any given month. That it doesn't bother me that the strawberry stuff's going to be slower. Also, here's what I was thinking too. Although this might mean I can't make sweaters in advance if I do this way. But, I mean, maybe, maybe a few. But I was thinking it would be neat. Because instead of having like chest designs and then sleeve designs... It'd be neat if you could choose, do you want sleeves only, chest only, or both? Although it would cost more. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to price these things, because it's like, should I have a base price for an embroidered item, where it's like, if there's one embroidered area, it's this price, and if there's two embroidered areas, it's, a, it's like $5 more, and then add another $5 if there's a third embroidered area? Because then would sleeves count as two? Because obviously making a sweater design with two sleeves is more work than doing just a chest design. Because then, But then also people could pick, like, do you want sleeves, chest, or both? Some people might want both. But that's going to be, and because of that and the different sweater types and the different colors, it's going to have to be kind of made to order, I think. But I still haven't figured out. I haven't, i got to look at Shopify and see if there's ways I can... Like, I want people to have options, but also be able to limit stock, overall stock, like how many 
like let's say I did like weekly sweater pre-orders or something where we only take enough orders for as many sweaters as we can make that week. But considering there's so many variants, I don't know how you could limit the overall stock while keeping all variants available. What other strawberry products? So yeah, there's, there'll be the sweaters, sketchbooks, and then I've made a washi, a notepad. I also want there to be a planner pad. I haven't designed it yet, but. And then a sticker or a sticker set. I kind of undecided how I want to move the sticker. Like I kind of want to move away from sticker sheets because they're, they're kind of finicky. But I don't want to do small sets like I did with the bunnies and Santa because those cost me a lot. Oh, like it was a bunch of small stickers. I could do a set that's just fewer larger stickers. Or do just one big strawberry sticker. I don't know. <gasps> Which would be like... That sticker would probably be like... I have one where there's a big red strawberry, a small pink one, and then they're attached to two leaves and there's two flowers on top. So it's not like the full spider design as people call it but it's not just a single strawberry like maybe I could do just that I don't know and I'm also restocking some other stuff well I'm restocking dainty flower washi and then there's going to be some new like some new stuff with like tulip bun oh, I don't know. <laughs> at least sticker in print for tulip bun and midnight rain I want to do a sticker of those squash mushrooms. I keep forgetting about the non-mushroom stuff. Oh, God. I keep thinking about like my accounting stuff like in taxes because of my business year end is September 30th. And I'm like, I've just been spending this year and I have, I gotta like put the stuff up for sale so I can start getting some money back. <sighs> cousin owns an embroidery business she takes a pre-order for a month at a time over the course of a week and gives a three-week ship time she's also full-time nurse so her turnaround's a little longer hollow strawberry yeah wait i'm trying to remember see i write down ideas and then i lose the papers <laughs> or maybe it's in one of my notebooks because i do want to get some hollow stickers like, I want the Midnight Rain one to be a hollow sticker and hollow print. Strawberry is more cottagecore vibe, so it doesn't need to be hollow, but it would also look kind of good. And I mean, like, by hollow, I mean, like, a hollow pattern, not, like, full hollow not like a chrome sticker, but like, kind of like how there's hollow shard, you can get little hollow starbursts. Anyway. Ah, so many things to think of. Oh yeah, and I wanna restock the YBBY sticker. Except I can't order a thousand this time. I'm gonna order just 500. Cause I gotta order lower quantities of stuff. Like, <laughs> but with stickers it's hard cause it's such a good deal for a thousand. For a restock I for sure could not order that many. Even for the other stuff, I, just, I need to start with like 500 and then if it ends up being popular, I can order more and ah! make it a mess.
<laughs> As I'm cleaning up, I make it worse. Well, it's about the same, but I mean like... I was almost done cleaning them up and then I spilt them again. Smooth move. <laughs> Strawberry diamond art. Also, I feel like there's gonna be more strawberry stuff in the future because I would love to do a strawberry bun. A little strawberry themed outfit, bunny. That could be a sticker. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Oh, yeah, there's some up here. I was like, where was I working before I spilled everything? Up here. Katie Hewitt, thank you for the membership. Ooh. Yeah, straw bunny. Strawberry Kiki Minna. Maybe. I feel like they would work well for some kind of Halloween merch too because, well, Kiki Black Cat and then Midna's got orange and black. Halloween babies. Uh, why did I put the jar away? <laughs> Praise the magic gods. Marsfit says, what's everyone else up to? I'm filing my nails. I'm diamond painting. Okay, what am I doing next? I mean, if I want to finish out the pinks, I could go to seven or two. Yeah, there's not many sevens. Let's get that out of the way and then we'll do two. Um, I'm looking at like, there's a V, there's an up arrow, there's a check mark. These all look like sevens to me. It should have a circle in it. White circle. So maybe it'll look more white than pink. Ah. It looks like brown <laughs> on the cap. Filling up my gems for Vera. <laughs> Are you into the bunnies just as an aesthetic or have you ever wanted one as a pet? I actually don't want one as a pet. But I like seeing wild bunnies or just seeing pictures of bunnies. <laughs> Is that one of these? Yes. Wait, oh yeah, sevens. I was like, these seem dark for twos. They're sevens. See, I mean, I've heard people say you can litter train a bunny, but. Oh, 
Like if I had a bunny, it would free roam the house. I don't like having any pets that needs to be in like a cage or tank or any kind of enclosure. It just makes me too sad. Bunnies are a lot of work. I'd take art bunnies any day. <laughs> I had two bunnies, they were free roam, also had two cats at the time. <laughs> That's my least favorite thing about that brand. Sometimes the symbols are so similar. <laughs> and I just don't like when the similar ones are the same colors. Like, do E and F really have to be super similar pinks? Cause like an E looks like an F and then you make them almost the same color. It's like frying my brain. Christian's vacuuming. I'm gonna close the furnace. It's a central vac, so I'm just gonna <laughs> close this door a bit, but not too much cause the cat litter's in there. One thing I was thinking of doing, because for a while I've been thinking, oh, I want to cut a little hole in the door for the kitties to pass through, but there's actually a perfect little patch of drywall right beside the door, because on the inside in the furnace room, there's no insulation or second layer of drywall. It's just the drywall on the outside, so I could easily cut through that and maybe decorate it a little, have like a little kitty entrance, and then we can keep the furnace door shut. Because yeah, originally I thought I would do that on the door, because you see those little attachments you can get that's like a shape of a cat head with ears and you can put them in your doors but i was like wait i should just cut a hole in the wall <laughs> which to me seems better some people might not think that but i think that what do you do with the diamond painting when you're done um, they either get framed or they get folded in half and left on the floor in my closet. <laughs> I mean, I framed one of mine. Or did I frame two? Did I frame lack? I mean, this is, this is lack. Did I frame petal dance? I know I framed at peace. Hey, Ingrid. I'd be so paranoid about poop everywhere if I had free roam bunnies. <laughs> yeah. Did you have dogs or cats when you were young living with your parents? Yeah, we had cats and dogs. We were on a farm. So they were all outdoor pets. But they, would, they could come inside. Although most of the cats wouldn't. But... Like they... Like we would let them in. But it depended on the air. Which era of cat, you know. Like Jewel liked to come in. My dad currently has Mama Kitty. She's getting pretty old. She likes to come in sometimes, but she prefers just being outside or even in the garage. Like if it's real cold, she'll go in the garage. But she'll come in sometimes. Wait, whoops, I'm doing twos all of a sudden. Run away, yeah. Right here. I keep thinking I'm on twos. These are sevens. I took my tweezers out of here and they're in the embroidery room. <laughs> it's cheaper to patch drywall. You'd need to replace the door if you change your mind. Yeah. And like, if I cut a clean arch, I can keep that piece of drywall, which might make it easier for repairs if we ever needed to someday. <laughs>
I'm just unsure how I want to finish the cutout because I could still get one of those cat door cutouts and just pop it into the drywall instead, but it might be too thick, I guess. But like those things are kind of small. Would Minna fit through there? I kind of want something that's high enough that they don't have to squeeze through. Like I kind of want an arch that they can mostly just walk through without really having to duck or like not having to duck much. And so I could just like make my own custom thing, but then I got to finish it off and make it look cute. Like I could have a little curtain or something around it, like tied to the side curtain and it just <laughs> frames it or something. Cute little baby entrance. Sculpt something out of air dry clay, like a little stony arch and then paint it. I think I got all the sevens. Now let's do two. <gasps> AB. I should have known because if it's one through four, it's AB. These are the shiny ones. They're annoying to put down though because they really stick to the wax. But they look so pretty. I'm diamond painting on the deck in Ontario. <laughs> Doing such a great job. Four out of four. Keep it up. <laughs> Wait, four out of four? Interesting scale. No carpenter, but maybe you could get some type of flexible trim. <laughs> when I was younger, friends of my family had a mangoost. Mangoost? What is that? salon style door and then walking through with cowboy hats howdy 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 my computer keeps hard crashing and I have no idea what to do about it how's your sweater doing like the one I'm wearing it's comfy April, are you seeing the hearts in chat? They're kind of in the corner. Yeah. I don't usually notice them, but y'all. Yeah. All right, let's see those likes, people. No. <laughs> Okay, I have a question. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what is up with the NPC trend on TikTok lives? I keep coming across them. And, like, there's no escape. Like, like, I've seen similar streams in the past, but it seems like every stream I cross is suddenly that. And I'm like, what is going on? Because people will... Like, it's been a thing, but I don't know if it's just blowing up. Because, like, people will, like, sit in front of the camera and they have, like, weird movements like this. Like, they're an NPC character. And then they won't really make any noises unless you gift something. And they'll have a certain, like, action and phrase for different gifts. Like, like for example, you gift a rose. They might be like, mmm, rose. Or something. Like, they have a little action they do. And depending what the gift is, they have a set action they do. And so they're just sitting there being like, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> and like, they just keep repeating the same things. And I'm like, what the fuck? Apparently they make a lot of money in a little time. I'm like, who's buying these gifts? Like, bored rich people or something? Three to four K per live. Well, I'm sure it depends on your viewership. Because, like, what do you do when you're starting out? Do you just, like, sit there in silence because no one's gifting anything? And who's buying this? I'm too old for TikTok, so... Well, there's all kinds of communities on there for all ages. Just depends what you're into. There was a viral video of a girl saying she made thousands from it. Apparently a bunch of people are trying it. It physically pains me. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, maybe I should try this. <laughs> Everyone unfollows. I could do it right here, right now. Quick, let me turn on Super Chat. Turn on the super stickers. Smiley face. A dee. A smiley face. A dee. What's your opinion on the vegan teacher? I haven't really seen much vegan teacher stuff, although I've seen some people like ranting about the vegan teacher. Like I'm aware of her existence. She seems annoying. Giving vegans a bad name. Is she still like irrelevant these days? I don't know. <laughs> she feels like she's been around so long. Some of these are shinier than others. This one hardly looks A, B, and then that one's like, bam. <sighs> For some reason, I thought there were more twos than this. Feels like there's not that many. At least not in this section.
Sometimes you're just trying to nudge it over and then it just goes flying. Because there's a lot of resistance when you're pushing it over. So if it suddenly gets unstuck, it just goes all over the place. And you can see just a few beyond the, the bounds of your tape. We got ones. Yeah. I feel like my wrist keeps touching here and I need to do this, these ones next. Otherwise this area is not gonna be sticky anymore by the time I get to it. Hey Jasmine. Hey Parker. Taking a break from gaming to see my favorite hobby. <laughs> How big is this diamond painting? Uh, 28 by 20 inches, which is 71 centimeters by 51 centimeters. Okay, so let's do the fancy N. Heist. Miss the heist. Rip. <sighs> These ones feel like kind of round. Like these have, they're kind of crystalline, they're not just smooth domes, but these ones feel a bit more smoothed out than others and like kind of extra glossy as a result. I can still see edges to them. Maybe it's just an illusion because of the color, but they seem rounder. Less crystalline. If I unzip and just like move you down a bit. <laughs> oh, now it's gonna flop. Good night, Toledo. How's Kiki doing? Good, she's just vibing. Her eyes are open right now but she's looking sleepy like they could close at any moment. Ah. The colors on this diamond painting are so pretty they look like they would taste like candy. <laughs> Do you prefer round or square? Square. I salute you, oh majestic jellyfish. Your command of the sky is unmatched. Floating just out of the reach of my net, but near enough that I can see your untamed beauty. I think you're the first person to redeem that sound. <laughs> Yay!
Yeah, no, there's not a command right now to see how many points you have because it gets spammed too much. You either got to go to the loyalty store or gamble. I hate being in the UK. Your streams always start when I'm going to bed. I mean, I start them at noon my time, which is like, isn't that like 7 p.m. your time? That's like the ideal time. It's after work. Well, for most people. <laughs> Yeah, 10 p.m. now, and I've been live for three hours. Because yeah. it used to be an eight-hour time difference, but now I live in a different time zone. So now it's only a seven-hour difference. Although if these go long, then yeah, it's bedtime. Long hairs in there. Almost got to remove the drill because it's trapped underneath. Thank you so much for the membership. Welcome. What I hate about the ones that are like a color with a white circle in the middle, such as the sevens I've done, is that if the drill is a little crooked, you see some of the white circle. It's like, ugh. Gotta be perfectly placed. And listen, I'm not about to sit here and perfectly place each piece. Life's too short for that. Hey, Anuk. I was at dinner. Glad I could catch the stream. Nearly midnight in Turkey. Have you looked into a new tray and pen? Something simple? No. I will say my eyes are bothering me less right now. I just realized, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling a little bit of pain between the shoulders. I swear I just heard Midna yawn. Was that Kiki? It sounded like Midna and it sounded right behind me. Maybe that was just Kiki. Oh no, <gasps> oh Midna, she's under the table. When did you? down here she's in the sun Oops. I don't think you'd see her here oh my stream deck just disconnected when I touched it I probably shocked it <laughs> oh. oh she's belly up laying in the sunbeam I heard you yawning
Can you see us? Oh, I thought I switched. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought I switched the camera, but the stream deck turned off. Although I don't know how much of a corner you see. Oh, there she is. Gotta pet both babies. <laughs> Once a member, always a member. Oh, baby, look at that tummy. Look at that tummy. You guys can't see her when she's just moved over. She's belly up, squirming. Oh, electric shocks. Come a little closer, baby. Are you hiding from the vacuum down here? Tissue, thank you for the two months. <laughs> Is it Midna or Munda? It's Midna, but she also goes by Minush, among other things. What's a member? Always Minush. a member. Minu, Bush. Anuk, thank you for the two months. The cats are about to turn eight on the 25th. Baby. Wee, baby, wee. Oh, didn't change the camera. Yep. It has to be said in that voice, though. <laughs> Kiki was guarding it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She acts like she's going to guard it, and then she says, I'm going to wreck it. She was trying to pull up the edge earlier. Also, if she realizes this is sticky, like, she's licked the diamond paintings before. Because she likes adhesives. Any more ends? Any more? Don't think so. Now let's do Y and then the U turn symbol.
Would you ever do embroidery of Kiki and Bennett as a design? It could happen. How'd you come up with Midna's nickname? Well, Minou is French for kitty. Like, if you're like, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Like, it's just a generic term for a cat. Because Midna sounds a bit like... Like, when you're kind of being lazy with pronunciation, it's like Midna turns into kind of Mina, which is really similar to Minou. Just kind of evolves. And then Minou evolves into Minouche. But there's also Binouche. I don't know why. I think sometimes I like alliterations too. So if I say, like if Kiki is going into the cat tent, it's a Tiki tent. Because one of her nicknames is Tiki. But also just trying to make it that alliteration. Tiki tent. So it's like, I think sometimes I say Bibi Binouche. Minouche, bush, because she's also mush, which is kind of like minouche, but also she's just mushy, so she's mush. Mush, bush, minouche. How much have you done of the DP this stream? Everything you see here, so, because I haven't worked on this diamond painting at all, ever. I just started it today, so everything you see is from today. That's another one of Midna's. Mushy bush, mushy moo. Any combination? <laughs> Minu weenu. Midna probably has more nickname variations than Kiki. Because there's a like Kiki, Kik, Tiki, Tiki Doo. Kiki, I feel like there's not as many var variations. My cat's name is literally Minu. <laughs> I mean, that's like my brother's cat is just named Kitty. Kitty and Crinkle. So Minu is like similar vibe. <laughs> Minu. I thought it was Midna from Zelda. I mean, it is. It is from Zelda. <laughs> A nickname for my cat Salem is Gremlin. <laughs> tiki. Yeah, Tiki Toot. Is usually Kiki's is usually some variant of Kiki or Tiki or Kiki. Or tiny tick. Again for the alliteration. <laughs> tiny tick. Was I just covering U turns? No. Good. We're covering Y. Why, baby? Why? <gasps> How did I not think of that until now? Hey, bug pack. My cat doesn't really have a lot of nicknames, nor do I call him by his actual name very much. I just call him Cat. <laughs> Come here, Cat. Nee. My cat's name is Gary and Peach names. Two 
I never played any Zelda games, so whenever someone mentions Midna, I assume they mean Bailey's cat. Oh yeah, Kikachu! That's one! I was like, there's gotta be more. Kikachu. Especially when she's on my shoulder. I'm like, I need to favor the left hand side because that's where my wrist sits. Like where my palm sits. But then I have the camera like <laughs> way over here, but I'm like, I'm prioritizing this area. Although we have a good mix. There's actually probably more drills on this side, this edge. Ah, why is there a number 32 sticker on me? Is that from this jar? I don't know. It must be. 32 is U turn. Okay, yeah. There's a legend on the side of the canvas. Gamble 1500, rolled 30, lost 50. <laughs> Yules is a high roller today. You'll more like you'll lose. You maybe even winning some. I literally have only seen two of your gambles. <laughs> Can't should I start gambling? I don't think so. <laughs> So do you guys like big patches of the same color because it's quicker to do or do you find it less interesting? I guess if you're someone who lays them down one by one, you probably don't like it. <laughs> this is not that big of a patch. I'm just curious. I mean like bigger sections than this. Because some people have those long like circular th ones that they roll onto the canvas. I feel like that takes some skill getting used to the placement, but... I'm a little OCD, I have to go row by row, even if I have to change the drill color over and over. Rather have a mix. Can't use those gigantic placers, they're too difficult for me. <laughs> Top, bottom. I like the big patches. Same, I just do one by one.
Get off my thumb! Get off! Let's do percent. Any percent. I have to do all one color and then all the next. Can't do sectioning. <laughs> Do you have like the whole plastic removed or do you just kind of like remove, like lift the plastic section by section? I can't remove all the plastic because babies. Plus I have a bunch of crap just sitting on the diamond painting. Like <laughs> I literally have my mug rug, the washi tape, my stream deck, scissors, the Red Bull, my water. Knife, another placer, the wax, the lid for the knife, the current in use jar, and the box of stuff. I just got like crap all over it. Although for streaming, you kind of have to go section by section, unless you have a huge top down camera and then you just don't really get a close up at all. Does anyone have like custom nonstick gloves for this? Like you could have, you basically need a glove that just has this kind of material on your palm and pinky so that when you rest your hand on the sticky part, it doesn't stick. I wonder if that'd work with like the backside of say packing tape or something. I don't know if that's the same as this, but you see like a glove with a layer of this plastic on the palm. And then like no matter where you rest your palm, it would not stick. Invent it, you'll be a millionaire. <laughs> Should it have fingerless tips though? Probably. I'll lift it because of dog hair. <laughs> Glove would need to be quite lightweight, you know, you don't want it to interfere with movement. Fingerless tips, so you can still hold the placer easily. Alright, that one wants to go up there, I guess you're up there. Oh, 
be warm from the sun. Just gotta say, you looked amazing in that swimsuit in your most recent vlog. Thank you. I do like it. It's got like a good coverage, you know, and it's flattering because of the skirt. Because I've got two more that are more like bodysuit style. But I like how it kind of hides the crotch and hip area <laughs> when you've got the skirt. And it's just so good for transitioning from in water to out of water. It's like a swimsuit and a swimsuit cover up in one. I feel like with squares, it's easier to push them like this into a line. Because here they want to squeeze out or like they buckle upwards instead of pushing down the line. Like I get such neat rows when I'm using square drills. The swimsuit's from Retro Stage, but I bought it a few years ago now, so they probably don't have it anymore. I bought this other really cute swimsuit from them, but it does not fit. It is like a size smaller, but it's like significantly smaller. <laughs> and I've just never fit into it. <laughs> Sad. my first skateboarding lesson next week. Oh, snap. Sounds scary. Intense music. Why, baby, why? Kiki's like, oh, I get scolded when I go up there. As long as you don't step on the sticky part, you can lay down over here, though. Careful, Minus. Kiki was also like rubbing her hand on the on the place or thing. Minish, no, no, she's licking it. No, Midna. No, baby, no. Why, baby, why? No, Midna, no. No. Don't eat the tape either. No. 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 <laughs> No, licking it. Why, baby, why? Minu the menace. Hey, <laughs> he's finding uncovered areas. No, Minna. <laughs> no. It's not a snack. <laughs> Joy, thank you for the one month. Is there fish in the glue? I don't know. Cats just like adhesive, I think. <laughs> Especially Kiki, but man, Minda's going feral. <laughs> Minda's going feral for this right now. Yes. 
Now she's sniffing the drills. Leave them alone. <laughs> she shoved her nose in them. <laughs> Midnight, no. Kiki's like <laughs> glaring from the corner. She's like, mm, it's not me for once. She's like right there. <laughs> Just like pff, pathetic. Even though she does that stuff regularly. Why, baby, why? <laughs> Grab a random box stat. Yeah. <laughs> There's a cat bed right there, Minish. Give me a box. Be a little pissed. Be a little pissed. Be a little pissed. Be a little pissed. No, no, no. Be rude. We don't see her as often as Kiki, but dang, when she's here, she's not playing. <laughs> no. No. Hey. No. 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 Do you always have a black dot in your eye? Her pupils usually aren't this small, so I don't usually see that. She's got a little tiny dot near her pupil. She's purring. You little shit. You little shit. No. <laughs> no, Midna. Don't make me put you on the floor. She's after me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> She's like, get this off. And he's decoy diamond painting. <laughs> She's a glue addict. <laughs> I remember Kiki has like ripped the, the drills off the time painting before. No, Midna. All right. <laughs> she hates being picked up. Now you go. She's like, oh, oh, that's tough. Oh, that's pretty good. She's addicted. Determined to lick the stick, Enos. <laughs> this makes me want to do my Nightmare Before Christmas painting. <laughs> Let her help. Oh, she's doing the opposite of helping. I'm trying to draw a giraffe, but the pattern is looking more like cheetah. <laughs> I lulled so hard. <laughs> you little shite. Oh, oh, she jumped back up. Need to buy some cover sheets, then all you should do is peel off the sheet. Wait for the diamond painting. I mean, for some reason, I like was using scissors to cut this piece off, and I cut diagonally first, so it'd be easier to remove the piece. And I'm like, why would I do that? Because now I don't have one <clears throat> one clean piece of plastic. I got these two deformed pieces. Mm. 
Windows Defender Summary. The cat came back. She's a glue huffer. And a glue licker. <laughs> you try to hiss. <laughs> No, Midna. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she needs her fix. <laughs> I can't even see where the frickin' plastic is. I'm trying to stick down drills and I'm just hitting plastic. Poor baby. She's so sad. She's super afraid, really. <laughs> you little stink. You little stinky moose. She's not stinky, but she's a stinker. Just a little lick. <laughs> Have you set a deadline or just gradually complete with us live? I think just gradual. Just for those weeks when there's not something else I, that's really streamable. It's such a great backup for stream. You can almost see her pop at the pictures in the way. And here too. There's a minu pa. And here's a minu pa. Oop. <laughs> Beautiful baby. Have you guys seen that guy on TikTok who just goes around and pets neighborhood cats? He goes, Beautiful baby. And I say that all the time now. <laughs> Beautiful DB. Now, he owes us favors. <laughs> now, he owes us favors. I have a blood donation appointment in the morning. Good thing I was too lazy to make myself a cocktail earlier. <laughs> hey, no. No bad BB. Usually Midna is the good girl. With this kind of stuff and Kiki's on <laughs> creating chaos. Oh yeah, that's actually one of her nicknames. Christian will call Kiki Chaos. <laughs> Midna, no, no. No, there's not gonna be any adhesive left if you lick it all off. Why, baby, why? No, Midna. I'm fighting for my life over here. I even put her on the ground and she came back up. <laughs> she discovered the deliciousness that is the adhesive on this thing. Oh, you'd also just turn the light off. Oh, and it's back on. No, Midna. Hey. <laughs> She's addicted. She's going feral for the goods. You think it's catnip. Stop. Usually it's Kiki being the bad one. She's just sniffing Midna's butt, I guess. <laughs> I'll put you on the ground again. I'll hold you on your back like a baby. Oh, she hates being picked up, especially being held like a baby. I'm gonna do it. Baby, 
No. <laughs> you being a bad baby? You being a bad baby? You stop, okay? Now, Kiki, you better not get into this, too. Kiki's just been lurking in the corner, she's watching evil. Midna. And she's killing people! <laughs> Midna's evil, and she's killing my diamond painting! And Midna needs an intervention. <laughs> hey, Kiki, don't you start now, too! No. There's something in that glue. <laughs> it's activating something primal in them. both addicted. I mean, Kiki has gnawed on the gems before on the, the drills that are already stuck to the canvas. That was a while ago, though. You're kind of blocking chat right now. Do you have any new shows you and Christian are watching or YouTubers you watch in the background? You introduced me to a, a few new small business in your vlogs that I've been following. For shows, I mean, we don't have a lot of shows on the go right now, but we are watching Claim to Fame, which is a reality show where every contestant is related to someone famous and they're trying to figure out who each other is. Because there are guess offs where if you guess correctly, then they're, that person's eliminated. And if you guess incorrectly, you're eliminated. And <laughs> I've just been into that lately. We were binging Survivor, which we have more seasons of Australian Survivor to get to. So we'll probably resume that at some point. Oh yeah, and current Outlander season I've been watching... Minush. <laughs> oh, look who's back. We had a few minutes of peace. Yeah, you can chew that. Just do not lick the adhesive. Look at this chaos here. Got two babies. No. Midna, you're so bad. Usually you're the good one. She's in her rebel era. Why, baby, why? <laughs> People keep redeeming the sound bite. Why, baby, why? No. Hey, Midnight, <laughs> stop! <laughs> She's going feral for it. She's like, I need it. Why oh, that's the good stuff? No, baby. No. You got a little something on your nose. <laughs> Stay back. Was a picture. I take a screenshot. Beautiful baby. <laughs> hey. Kiki looks so nonplussed. <laughs> Together. My cat loves to chew plastic or anything that makes noise. Kiki not impressed by the shenanigans. She's like, I'm the good child for once. Bailey, I've just about had it, young lady. Young? If 
I ever repeatedly blocked my cat from something like that, she would bite me. So at least you have that going for you that they don't. <laughs> Kiki on the other cam posing. They're just staring at you like soon. I'd like to share a funny picture. I have no keyboard or mouse over here. She's just like preparing to attack again. Like, look at her just loitering. She's just laying there menacingly. <laughs> oh, she's kind of growling, but she can hear the vacuum. She does not like it. Never mind then, my dear. I at least need to bring my mouse over here when I stream or something. How do you and Mr. Christian keep it fresh? <laughs> well, you keep it fresh by washing it, of course. My cat loves any tape. Can't use scotch tape because he'll steal it if I don't pay attention. Yeah, there's something in adhesives. Diamond painting especially. Hardly smells like anything to me. Sniff like a dog on that diamond painting. Sniff like a dog, lick like a cat. Every time I diamond paint, my cat tries to take the tool out of my hand or he just likes to roll so his fur is stuck between the diamonds forever. <laughs> They're leaving their mark on this world. Immortalizing their fur. Showers? Sometimes. But listen, it's overrated, okay? <laughs> I'm in a darn vacuum. I'll be back. <laughs> I just gotta keep a handheld vac over here and just like. <laughs> Saves water. I feel like it hardly does because then it's like. I mean, maybe like a little bit, but it feels like it takes me way longer to, to clean myself because it's like. You're shimmying around each other. Plus then it's annoying because like if you're out of the water while someone else is rinsing, then it's like, yeah, I'm cold. And the water like deflects off his body into my face. And I'm like, please.
<laughs> Wait, do both at the same time period? Sex and sleep at the same time? What the sounds questionable? <laughs> Kinda sound like a crime. <laughs> hey Ingrid. I remember her having to press more buttons at the convention. It was hectic. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with all those buttons. I mean, certain ones wouldn't really sell. It depended on the convention. If you missed doing the occasional conventions you did when you used to sell stickers and badges. I mean... I kind of miss it, but I don't miss the chaos. I was going to table at Calgary Expo this year. I mean, I don't know if I would have actually gotten in. But I withdrew my application because we decided to go to Vegas. Like, why does the Calgary Expo have to be the weekend of Christian's birthday every year? So rude. And I think I'm going to apply for next year, but I'm... <laughs> this is the easiest convention to do since I'm local. But... Do I get a vendor's booth instead of an artist alley booth? I kind of want the space. Because, like, you get an actual booth. You might only have, like, one table still, depending on the size of booth you get. But it's, like, you have the space behind you because there's, like, a draped cloth behind you. Whereas in Artist Alley, there's, like, the other artists behind you. <laughs> Plus, I don't think the tables are end-to-end -end in the vendor area. I can't remember. So then you can actually get out... Listen, people need their selfies with me, okay? Maybe less so these days, but... <laughs> I believe I can fly. Not into somnophilia. I was about to be like, what's that? And then I was like, oh, I can... I can break down the word. <laughs> I get too cold showering together the cold mist of death. Hey, girl, how's the diamond painting going? Hey, Alexandra, it's going pretty good. We had Midna trying to eat the canvas just moments ago, but she has got scared by the vacuum. <laughs> Even though Christian's vacuuming, like, I think he was going down the stairs towards the main floor, so it sounded kind of close to the basement stairs. So she ran away. Who was it that said Midna looked like poo with corn in it? <laughs> this sounds vaguely familiar. Maybe I tuned it out because it was so mean. Erased it from my memories. <laughs> nice try, Michael. Nice try. Why would I lie like that? Watched your wedding video today. It was such a beautiful day. Uh, good times. Good times. <laughs> I 
farting in the shower. Your diamond painting stuff gets here tomorrow. On our first date, he told me he was 500k in debt, had cheated in his prior marriages, and was a convict on the run, and he was no better on our second date. <laughs> I might have done too much of a strenuous activity, now my breathing sounds like that crinkle. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Maggie. Farts are always smellier in showers. Yeah. The heat and like movement of the air, it's just gonna waft that immediately and somehow enhance it as well. Enhance. My <laughs> farts. Oh, they smell much better than her. She was lucky to have my farts sprayed onto her body. Okay, perfect use of the sound. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even remember what I was going to say now because that was so good. <laughs> was it fart related? I like square better. Don't want to make you sad, but it must have been hard to hard and torn to move away from friend group to be closer to the fam. Yeah. Some of them do plan to move here eventually, so there's that at least. But we'll never be like all in one place again, you know? So I think there's some people who probably will never leave Vancouver. Others have a timeline of like two years or less. What I hate is I feel like I'm always the first one to leave. Like, it was kind of like when I moved away from Gravelberg in grade 10. And I eventually like lost touch with most of my friends. Like, I guess I just didn't try hard enough to keep in touch because I'm the one who left, right? So I feel like a lot of it was on me to stay more in touch. And so we were like this tight group of six and then it became a tight group of five. And you know, I'd see all like their posts on Facebook of like trips they'd go on together and I'm like, ugh. Or like, they're always at each other's weddings, but they didn't come to my wedding. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> and they didn't invite me to theirs. But it's like, times change, I get it. But anyway, I, you know, so now leaving Vancouver, it kind of brought up some of the same emotions, like, I left. Although I'm keeping way more in touch, and like, we've had visits, we have a group chat, which I think is helping immensely to keep in touch with everybody. You plan to move to Calgary in a couple of years? <laughs> when people sell farts in a jar, do they do it in the shower? See, that'd be smart. <laughs> Have you settled into your new place now, or do you still expect to hear those damn lorries in a work event? I would say we're pretty settled. If you hold your farts in, they eventually come out your pores. <laughs> Wait, what? Known fact, is it? <laughs> Perry also plan on relocating to Calgary myself. All roads lead to Calgary. How long till heist time? I don't know. He's got to try the command to see if it works.
It's also normal to fall out of touch with high school friends. It's different with friends you make as an adult. Yeah, it, that's true. I mean, to be fair, the friends I'm talking about are like all still friends with each other. <laughs> but I got new friends now. Simply too expensive near Vancouver. I just want to live in or near a city. And it's gone because of the heist. <laughs> but yeah, I feel ya. My mom is so mean. I texted her the other day. I was scared I wouldn't get enough financial aid for college, and I told her today that in fact that's what happened. And she said, Sorry, having a big steaming bowl if I told you so. I'm hoping this is just a Perry tale. Is it reality or is it simply a Perry tale? Recently got back in contact with some childhood friends, slowly realizing why I purposely lost contact in the first place. <laughs> Should it not be the first to leave? Think about the place where you first met me. Getting a little hungry. Did you guys celebrate your one year of living in the house? No. <laughs> no. I suppose that would have been four days ago. We were at the lake. Because we drove on July 15th. From Vancouver to Calgary. <gasps> I just remember we had this little cheese croissant. Oh yeah. <laughs> Getaway car was so good. Yeah. I never even heard it till recently. Like I never listened to the full Reputation album kind of recently and I was like where's this song and been my whole life it definitely makes me think of all the times I've moved because I've had a couple cross province moves you know well Saskatchewan to Alberta then Alberta to well Technically, I was back in Saskatchewan for one year of university, then back to Alberta for the summer, and then to BC, and now back to Alberta. <laughs> but if you ignore the, the little dip back into Saskatchewan, it goes Saskatchewan, Alberta, BC, Alberta. All right, next stop, Saskatchewan. <laughs> Then do I just keep moving east? Do I go Manitoba next? She's from Manitoba. And July 15th is your birthday. Happy belated birthday. Oh, 
on my birthdays when you move. Wait, Maggie too? Happy belated birthday. <laughs> Shiny birthday twin. I started watching you back when you were still in your apartment in Vancouver. Got a diamond painting from Timu and it's got a panda. I wonder if I'll ever reconcile with my former best friend. I have dreams pretty often that we bump into each other and we reconcile every time in these dreams. Oh, yeah, I get, I have those dreams a lot too. When I have a baby before I move, which sounds backwards, I should want to move, then have a baby, but I want my mom close by during my pregnancy. Oh. Loving the long hair and color, what henna brand do you use? I've been using the henna guys burgundy. Burgundy? Although this last time I dyed it, I mixed in a little bit of indigo to try to tone down more of the orange because like everywhere my hair was previously lightened, it turns out more orangey. So. But yeah, it's been good. Part of me is like, should I go for a more neutral color? Like maybe a mahogany? So I'm like, is this color right for me? But also it's like really hard with my outfits. I feel like this hair color clashes with a lot of my clothing. So I'm like, do I wanna go more neutral? I think that's all the percents. Now let's do these two little yellow diamonds that look kind of like Fall Guys because they're in a circle. Wait, actually, I'm gonna get that cheese croissant. Listen, it's 4 p.m. All I've had is toast and a banana. How's the embroidery going? I mean, it hasn't really been going. <laughs> We've been gone. But I ordered sweater blanks. Currently testing out some zip ups. I'm unsure what I want. This one is pretty comfy. I like how the other one was a little thicker cause it had like a fuzzy interior, but it's like a very pilly fabric. This one so far is not pilling. Christian's been wearing it the last couple days and now I'm wearing it. Uh. I don't know if ultra thin like this is the most suitable for embroidery though. Cause the zip ups would mostly get sleeve designs probably. Although I was thinking I could do a chest design if it's something that just goes on either side of the zipper. So there wouldn't be no central element, but like hoop, like have it zipped up and hoop it with the zipper in the middle and then embroider. Cause I, then people could choose if they want like just sleeves or sleeves and chest or just chest. I remember when you had blue hair way back. That's how I felt when I had orange hair. You really have to plan a wardrobe around hair color. Yeah, because a lot of neutrals look really good with orange, like a khaki green, browns. But anything that's slightly pinky or burgundy looks bad. Like I, the shirt I'm wearing with right now, I wish my hair was a little more this color instead of more orangey, but I'm just like, this clashes. All my pastel stuff does not look good with this hair color. I 
think the first vlog I ever watched was Bailey meeting Tom Felton at a convention many years ago. Right hand art challenge, the Moana one, and then found her vlogs and I was sold. I'll be trying to sleep, good night. Did you see the comment on your lake video about embroidering a band-aid on your sweater? Yes. <laughs> If I did it like a pink band-aid with a purple heart in the middle or something, that could be cute. If it's like a beige band-aid, ugh. <laughs> if there is one hair color you've had where you had to keep it forever, which would it be? Oof. I don't know if I could commit. Is there a hair color you want to try you haven't done yet? Not that I can really think of. Unless just like a nice, rich brown that's not too dark, but that looks better than my ashy natural color. <laughs> so jealous you met Tom Felton, what was he like? I mean, it was just like a photo op, so we didn't really talk. Well, I got a signature too. I did, a, those were, I guess were separate. Wait. Yeah, those must have been separate instances then. of the same weekend, but he was nice and polite and he said he liked my hair. <laughs> Which was turquoise at the time. Okay, I'm going upstairs for snack. I might have to pee also. I like didn't have time to do my pre-stream pee. So if I do, I gotta take this mic off. But maybe a little bit more than that, too. Actually, wait, Christian might cook supper soon. Hey, who is that? <laughs> There's someone like right outside my window. He's painting something on the neighbor's house. Wait, he's painting the trim white. Right now, the trim is like a medium to dark brown. Don't look at me. <laughs> He's like right at the edge of our balcony. I could grab one of these banana muffins too, maybe. That's a lot of like bready stuff, especially considering I had toast right before the stream started. Maybe some of these grapes. Yeah, there are chocolate chunk, banana chocolate chunk muffins. And they're delish. We don't have one for dessert later. After supper. a mediocre wash. I mean, sometimes I don't even rinse my fruit. <laughs> That's how you get a good immune system. Bite syndrome.
grapes. And my cheese croissant. Kiki sneaking in. Wait, what did you do while I was gone, Kiki? Hmm? <laughs> Midna comes back and just no, no. Kiki, no. Was she crawling on it? Was she licking it? Making me hungry. Kiki's checking the coast is clear before she does crime. <laughs> Y'all, aging sucks. The other day I woke up and noticed I somehow was wearing bunny slippers. No, it was my breasts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not your feet. For some reason I pictured boobs being stuffed into bunny slippers, like on your chest. Creamy new, oh, that's what I should have said when Midna was over here, because I saw um, a TikTok once that said creamy new, like criminal, but it's a me new, it's a cat. Creamy new, that was Midna. Creamy new. Stream was buffing, buffer. Mm. No dropped frames on my end, but could have been an internet thing. Me knew I'm keeping that. <laughs> baby, oh baby, oh she's a precious baby. Ooh, you know what I should do? I should pick all the grapes off the stem and then go get my little finger snack stick things. So I don't have to get my fingers wet every time I eat a grape. Hey. Kiki, no. Hey. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. Creamy new. Leave it. Could have been a YouTube thing. Yeah, it's either something on YouTube's end or like my internet. No drop frames due to computer performance though. <laughs> Creamy net. Wait, is the word me new supposed to only be for male cats? Because we call Midna me new. Diamonds be tasty. Moon cow carrying the sound bites today. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. 
Diamonds are a cat's best snack. Look at this little wrinkly sack. Look at... <laughs> Baby. Okay. I'm gonna go fetch the snack stick. It was so small. And like, how many were in there? I only had three. Ten packs. Raisins, Wait. Two hundred and three. Mm. <laughs> Raisins. That means. Hey, Christian. Christian. I've only had three croissants. Maybe these last two Once are a mine. member, always a member. <laughs> I think I've only had three. One each day since he bought them. Hmm. Maybe I will have another. This kind of stuff tends to mold fast, so you know, gotta eat it before it goes bad. Oh yeah, the idea was to not spoil my appetite for supper. Christian, get ready to have those bells jingled. <laughs> <laughs> Best excuse ever, mold. Yeah. <laughs> Forget you. Thank you for the two months. This looks like my desk right now, only the cat is ginger and replaced the diamond painting with a journal. When I swallow it, it sounds all juicy. Ew. <laughs> She's looking out the window and up. She must see the painter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you guys see the painter? <laughs> Oh, Minna's back. Uh oh. Oh my god, you can see the bottom of his ladder. He's like right on that shed. You can see his shoe, that white thing in the corner. I think it's his shoe. Or no, it might be a rag. <laughs> That's how close he is. There's a guy right there on the roof. <gasps> there he is. His hand. <laughs> Stranger danger. I closed my curtain so fast. I mean, I'm sitting back. So like we can't see each other from here. Deleted all my social medias last night. I was about to say, I hope not YouTube, but then I realized we're on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember seeing this symbol. 
when I set up. Oh, it's right here. No? All right. Guess I do have it. it looks kind of like a fall guy with diamond eyes. Yeah, you creamy new, what are you doing over there? Plotting, scheming. Hey, Jendi. <laughs> Batman was cuddling me. Then he saw Kiki on screen and had to jump over to the TV to check it out. He's like, is that my cousin? Ah. Bit my tongue. Not too, too hard, but it hurt. The side of my tongue. Okay, this is not really comfortable with a snack stick. Sometimes, well, most of the time I don't even wear it. I'll just pinch them like this. Also, the seams are kind of sharp on it. So it kind of scratches your fingers after a while if you're wearing it. What does he think when he looks at you in your setup? I don't think that he can see me. Because I'm further, the window's further forward. <laughs> Plus there'd be a lot of glare. Because it's sunny out. And the sun's like kind of setting. Well, not really setting, but it's, <laughs> it's over there. So it would be shining directly on his window, so I doubt he could see in. Off to bed. Good night, Ingrid. Need to be up in a few hours, so need to go and try to get some sleep, have fun time in painting. Good night, teacup. <laughs> few hours, yeesh. Hope you can get some sleep. Oh my god, there's a symbol right next to this one that looks very similar, but it's like... It's like pink instead, and it's diagonal instead of straight. Why? Official vet weight for Batman was 11.4, Rena 11.8. <laughs> She's bigger than him. Are Tordy's chunky? She got that moosh. Do you think Batman, I mean, Batman's also younger, technically, but they're like pretty much full grown, aren't they? He's a boy. They also both pooped this morning pre-weigh in. Well, that just evens the playing field. 
that's good for control purposes. <laughs> Mummy, I went to eight. <laughs> Last week I had the window cleaner come around, but I had forgotten all about it. I woke, pulled back my curtains, and I'll, he almost fell back off his ladder. I almost died. <laughs> and he almost died. <laughs> you have your grapes. Kiki has her diamonds. <laughs> I think Midna sees the man. Her neck is stuck way forward. Like, what the fuck is it? Who is it, Minish? We saw his feet and his hand. By feet, I mean shoes. She's watching. Is that Stranger Danger, Midna? My dog's like eight pounds and my cat's like 14. How is your dog eight pounds? That's like kiki weight. Well, she was like seven point something. 7.8? Or that be seven pounds, eight ounces? Wait, I don't know. Fix my computer, it was literally just stupid config file I forgot to adjust, dope. So I basically bought a $200 CPU for nothing. Good news, it's easy to return. Yay for fixed. This is another one of those circular ones where if your drills are not centered perfectly, you see a bit of the white circle underneath and it drives me nuts. <sighs> one time a couple years ago, my building was cleaning out the gutters and roof, but didn't notify anyone. So I had my window open and half my kitchen got covered in roof goop. Ew. Midnight, mm, the glue is right there. <laughs> Watching intently. You silly baby. You silly baby. Okay, decent progress. Let's add more drills. Let's see. I forgot to put away the last one, so I'm staring at them both because they're both blue, and I'm like, did I mix something up here? We're good. Can't really 
ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਲੱਗੀ ਨਾ ਪਾ ਆ ਕਿਟ Just woke up from a 3 hour nap. <laughs> Midna, I just need to wait for her to go to the bathroom then the glue is mine. <laughs> um, Kiki? No. The edge of the washi tape kind of curls up and she's like, "Don't mind if I do." Don't rub your cheek on the camera either, please. You're holding on to the tripod. There's a lot of this color. No. gear right in front of jet there's a shut in front of my jet she's just slow blinking at me get out of here <laughs> scoot your boot excuse me i can't see you i can't reach out i'm from the uk why are exports from canada so expensive show more cats batman is watching Say hi to Batman, Kiki. Face the camera, sweetie. Is he looking? My TV got 10 minutes behind at some point during my nap, so I just skipped ahead to catch up. <laughs> You're like, Bailey's not reading my comments. 10 minutes later, oh. He's looking. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> no licking, no. You sent a snap. He's looking. <laughs> Cute. It's probably dark for you guys, but hopefully you can kind of see it. Going to an amusement park tomorrow? <gasps> I'm jealous. What amusement park? Where? Did I just see someone walking on the roof next door out the window? <laughs> yes, there's someone out there painting. I 
I didn't see him till I went upstairs for snacks and I was he was just right there beside the balcony and I was like, whoop, whoop. Hello. Maybe he's up on the ladder now. I just saw him walking. Oh, is that him? <laughs> I'm so far away. Oh, yep, feet, movement. Yeah, show us those feet. <laughs> Are those Air Force Ones? Ugh. <laughs> Wait, there's more video. <laughs> He's like up on the TV, the little TV, trying to get to the big TV. Just looking like a void on this view. <laughs> and then wants to meet his cousins. Oh, and then the camera switches back to diamond painting. Sad. Wait, it's Amanda's birthday. Let me use my 4.30 p.m. message. Me at 4.30. Oh yes, I totally remembered. It's the same thing when it was Anthony's birthday. I was just like, it was just his birthday. Like, what happened to this last year? I want to see the Barbie movie, but I'll wait till it streams. I ain't going out in this heat. <laughs> I want to see Barbie. I don't know if I'll book my tickets yet. I don't know how long Christian's parents are staying, so I'm kind of hesitant to book. I might just wait. Maybe they want to go see it with us. Although all the good seats are probably booked already. <gasps> so glad the stream is still going. Should be in bed. As I have a client with 20 inches of hair and they want baby lights tomorrow morning is that like high oh yeah there's those very thin highlights that take a while to do <laughs> baby lights Bailey will rather watch Oppen Oppenheimer <laughs> Oh, 
If I ever got my hands on a diamond painting, I don't think I'd eat or sleep. It looks too relaxing. <laughs> so maybe you would sleep because it'd be so relaxing. After a while, your back and eyes kind of hurt. So you're like, okay, I need a break. But it's so easy to multitask. Like, well, right now I'm live streaming. But if I wasn't, I'd be watching some shows or YouTube videos or something. So it's a great activity for that. Man, oh man, there's a lot of this color. Sometimes the drills just don't lay nicely in here and they're kind of sticking together and I'm like, stop it. <laughs> I listen to audiobooks when I do DP. Do you play Animal Crossing still? No, I haven't touched it in a long time. What does it take to be a member? Besides being a moron. <laughs> I feel like I need to add in the moron after that because he says moron. I feel like I need to add in the moron at the end because I keep expecting it. <laughs> moron. I still have to force myself to think DP equals diamond paint. <laughs> yeah, when I read the audiobook one, I was like, oh. <laughs> What's the audio like? Fifty Shades? <laughs> Midna. She's shoving her face in the box. Oi, oi. No, that's not a snack. It's probably toxic. Creamy new. <laughs> I restarted my island and instantly regretted it. Haven't touched AC since. Why, baby, why? There's a curse with that. People either restart their island or they flatten their existing island and then they just don't touch it. Cause it's so much work. Wee baby wee. Oh Brownman says he need all the pets. Here you go. She's like, I don't want a pet. No. She's like, hey, what's that plastic doing there? She's the bad guy. No. No. can sniff but you can't lick it. Okay, Minush. If you lick it, I'ma start some drama. 
You don't want no drama. No, no drama. No, 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 no drama. So don't lick on my painting. Or you'll be fainting. I don't know. <laughs> From the fumes. <laughs> Abbreviations that have multiple common meanings are dangerous. I always read MLM as men loving men, but sometimes people mean multi-level marketing and anti-MLM means very different things. <laughs> yeah. I knew it as multi-level marketing first, and so I always think of that by default. So sometimes I see posts and I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh, the other MLM. Okay, first you turn off my light and then you chew on my plastic. Trevor likes how warm that corner of the mat is. Where it plugs in, it gets pretty warm. And she's like, oh, this is nice. You can chew the plastic, but you cannot lick the Tootsie Pop. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Midna, no. <laughs> she like nibbled my nail. And now for babies. <laughs> Perfect sound, yeah. <laughs> what is it that glue that does this to the cats? I don't know. Minu the menace. Dennis? <laughs> that actually lined up perfectly because during that moment of SpongeBob where the guy goes, mm, oh yeah. Um, SpongeBob's like, he's like, why am I doing all the people these favors? Like, I'm rubbing your scalp and I don't even know you. And the guy's like, we went to elementary school together. And SpongeBob goes, Dennis? And then he resumes massaging, and the guy goes, mm, oh yeah. <laughs> so the fact that there was a double Dennis reference right there, wow. Yeah, they put catnip in here. <laughs> no, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> noises that's your sister hey sister <laughs> Linda looks so cuddly she does like to cuddle and she's nice and mushy so she's a good cuddle buddy Grandma has a cat that looks just like Midna, but we call her Wormy because she's so wiggly. I call Midna a squirmy wormy sometimes. Well, both kitties, if they're being squirmy, then they're being a squirmy wormy. Oh, two worms. It must have eaten Wormy.
sections look pretty good. Jay is back. Hey, Gwen. Just wanted to say hello from Denmark. I had a dog who had an operation on his butt and we had to put cream to help healing and it was fish based. The cat was following him everywhere trying to lick his butt. <laughs> Why is it fish based? <laughs> the cat's like, is it just me or is he kind of <laughs> smelling extra good? This dog butt better stop acting up. It was a weird time. <laughs> My cat's name is Pretty and he gets called the Pretty Little Kitty, Prit Prit Boy, Pretty Preter Pritterson the Third. <laughs> Eating food on stream was a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea, because I, I do pretty long streams, you know? A girl's gotta eat. But... How... Oh, I'm gonna have to put the drills on here so that Midna doesn't attack this while I'm pooping. Sorry, this is a horrible view, but it must be done. Mic off.
Where's my hairbrush? I have one that I keep down here. What the? Oh. <laughs> I just hear, where's my hairbrush? It's coming out of my phone. Oh. Where's my hairbrush? Oh, hello, baby. I couldn't find it yesterday either, so I doubt I'll find it right now. What if it somehow ended up in the embroidery room? Mm. No. Listen, my hair needs to be brushed and it needs to be brushed now. It's behind the Cintiq. Oh, it is. What the fuck? It was like way behind. I'm like, it's usually on my computer desk. Oop, painter can see me. Ouch, my scalp is so tender. I thought it was from like the wind when we were camping, especially that boating day. Cause my hair is up in a pony, you know. But it's been days and it's still tendy. I'm falling apart. Okay. <laughs> she texted us from the pooper. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I can't leave you without any content. The change in voice when talking to the cat. Aware, 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 aware. Aware. Here's my hairbrush. Two days after I painted my nails, or maybe it was the day after or something like that, I got this huge slice in my index finger. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big gash in the gel and I'm like, what the hell? Was that my razor or something? But it's weird that one blade would cut that deep and the other blade wouldn't hit it at all. And I was just like, god damn it, this has got to last me like four weeks. <laughs> and of course it's on my dominant finger. Dominant <laughs> Like on my dominant hand. The index finger. <laughs> Dominant. <laughs> I don't know why dominant fingers. It's so funny. <laughs> Maybe sunburn. It doesn't feel like sunburn. Like, the sunburn would be, like, it would hurt to scratch it and stuff. Plus, I did wear a hat that day. Oh, no, wait. I wasn't on the boat. <gasps> I mean, I put sunscreen on my part, but I didn't put any back here. Because, like, it doesn't hurt to, like, scratch. Well, I mean, it does. <laughs> it's, like, the kind of tenderness. I mean, maybe it is burnt, but... I mean, I know I looked at it last night though. I was like parting my hair away. It's kind of like if you wear your hair in a high bun all day and you take it out and you're like, oh, and your scalp is tender when you touch are the hair. Y'all are Cause it's mostly hurting back here, which is not really the most exposed area. It's got good hair coverage. But you never know. I gotta do a bunch of cleaning today still. Because oh. Christian's parents coming tomorrow, but also, you know, you know, the floors are due for a 
mopping and like the bathrooms are due for a cleaning. Christian did the upstairs bathrooms today and the vacuuming. Cause he handles like the second floor and I handle the main floor. Got a kick. Ponytail is too tight, maybe. I mean, it wasn't tight. I don't make them tight, but it was so windy that it was just whipping the ponytail around. So I think that's maybe why. Especially boating when it was also bumpy. But you think it would last maybe a day or two tops. I like this part of the song. <laughs> it's five o'clock already. Are you kidding me? You can't to be kidding me right now. I was like, I could do the peas. There's actually a lot that's tempting, like leave everything, but this circle is oval of pink. We're gonna be here all night. I got cleaning to do. And my Fall Guys dailies to do. I can't diamond paint all night. I've got a life. I mean, cleaning is not a life, but I'm just quoting Mr. Krabs. How many bedrooms, bathrooms is your house? Uh, four bedroom, three and a half bath. Although one bedroom is the embroidery room. <laughs> so we have three functional bathrooms. Diamond paintings, this one. It's the one that's visible on screen. It's called Lac. Instead of the peas, you did the poos. <laughs> <laughs> this person just stole my art and calling me an art thief. They stole my physical sketchbook. Wait, like someone IRL? What the fuck, man? IRL art thief? Twenty-four hour stream. What are you having for dinner? Probably a Hello Fresh. I don't know which ones we haven't had. God, the one Christian made yesterday. I mean, it was delicious, but it was just very similar to the meal I ate right before my stomach went all bad. Because I had just made something using what we had around the house. Because we were not going to get groceries or a Hello Fresh delivery when we we're only home for two days. So I'm like, okay, we got some ground beef in the freezer. Get some rice and veggies like frozen veggies and we'll just make it like 
some kind of Tex-Mex bowl. Although I didn't really have enough stuff to make it Tex-Mex. I put a lot of Tex-Mex seasoning in it and I put cheese and salsa. But it would have been nice to have like beans and corn or something. Anyway, it was just like slop. Now, the HelloFresh version, way, way, way better. But it was like ground beef and rice and stuff. Like, and it was it was literally called like Tex-Mex Inspire Bowl or something. And eating it, I, it was just all coming back to me. And I was like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Now I know there's like a blueberry chicken with like potatoes and a salad, but that one we're saving because it's a double portion. So that way we have enough for Christian's parents. <clears throat> Remember when he started out in a tiny apartment? Yeah. remember before I started vlogging, I was working part-time at the movie theater for minimum wage. <laughs> I only worked there three months and then I got my animation job and I was like, oh, thank God. And that's when I started vlogging was like my first day of work or something. The gremlin's back. I kind of want to run upstairs and make sure he's not making the blueberry one. Like, I think he knows, but... Let's just double checking it wasn't the blueberry. Tuscan sausage linguine! Mm. With sweet bell peppers and parmesan. That's all the pasta. I mean, it's probably an appropriate amount. We usually make way too much pasta. <laughs> what are you talking about? Midna has been trying to go after my diamond painting all day. She's trying to like lick the lick it, and she's going feral. I'm still streaming for a little bit. I'm just double checking you weren't making the blueberry one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw there was two sizes. Yeah. I figured you knew. All right. Back down. Getting apartment soon, but the applications are so long. <laughs> Is that guy still out there, Kiki? Are you watching him? Oh. Yep, he's right there. <laughs> Yeah, you can't see it. <laughs> see you, Bailey. Gamble 10, lost. Gamble 11, lost. Rip. Could go in my apartment alone naked it reminds me of the episode of Friends. I'm doing Hey Guys Diamond Painting from Diamond Art Club at the moment. It's very pretty. 
that might be the next one I do. Unless I come out with new ones before I do my next diamond painting. <laughs> I mean, this one will take me a long time. Because this is not one I plan to blitz. Just work on it casually. I mean, I said that about, I think, pedal dance, and then I eventually, <laughs> like, blitz the end of it. I'm like, this is taking too long. But. I don't currently have time to devote an entire week to a diamond painting. Because back when I did do that, it's because it was for a video for that week. I mean, technically, I can make it for a vlog, but I got a freaking store to run, man. I still wonder what I was going to say earlier, because, like, just the thought of it made me chuckle, so I start laughing, but then the fart sound bite came through, and that made me laugh even more. <laughs> I might end it after I'm done this color. We've been going over five hours already. What the heck? So it'll probably take me another couple hours to finish this section. And I simply must get to cleaning. It does get fast when you're in the final sections though because most of it's covered and so there's not as much kind of scanning around for where to put the next one. But what if I just did everything that is not the rose? What if I did... <laughs> What if I did just the the non-rose parts? That wouldn't take me too long at all. And then it would be satisfying. And good for not getting cat hair on it. Mmm. <laughs> Dang, these are dark. Me, this is the last one. Also, me do -do -do -do. pours more. Random 
one that doesn't belong. Eh. The diamond erase. I'm like, well, if I could finish this section before six o'clock. Minus the rose, minus the rose. Because the rose is completely different colors than the rest of it. So if I do the rest of it, there's like that perfect rose remaining. Oh my god, here's another loose of that lighter blue. What the heck? Really made a mess with that thing. Kind of like a rogue baby piece, like a little micro drill. Ghost drill. Not the micro one, but I mean, I just had a ghost drill moment. Now I know what it's called. <laughs> Oh, small treasure hunt. <laughs> I still have bakery to do someday. I have so many diamond paintings to do, just not enough time yet. <laughs> they take so long. A lot of these are laying on top. I'm trying to get nice rows and it's just messy. One thing about round drills is I will say, I feel like they're easier to pick up. Like you can get away with less wax because they just fit the shape of the placer better. Cause like it's a round tip pen and they're round drills. I was like, huh, I haven't had to grab new wax. And I'm like, yeah, because they're rounds, so that's actually nice. <laughs> Conch, will the art theft admit someday she didn't draw the artwork? Shush, you're too bored to talk to me, <laughs> no. The artist's plight. Conch being a sus now. Conch, are you the art thief? Contra, you the art thief. No, now go wash up, BB. You're looking a little rough. Ooh, sounds defensive to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looking good. I thought this was gonna take a while. <laughs> I mean, I could finish the rest of these in no time. I mean, I did estimate two hours for this section, like for the remainder. 
if I did also did the rows also. But I guess I mean maybe that was a bit overestimated, but who knows? Conchie, give me some bay bucks so I can play more sounds, please. <laughs> I shush you're too poor. Yeah, that's why they're asking for more bay bucks. They're bay buck poor, like jizz. Contra, you broken? Yes. Love Midnight Rain as a DP. Yeah, I think that would make a good one. Oh my god, I've got the rapid flash on my mic. That means it's gonna die. I saw a video recently and someone was wearing a white version of this mic and I was like, where was that when I bought mine? It's cute. Ghost drill. <laughs> Rogue drill. Can't have chocolate till after my heart surgery. What kind of cruel world is this? Can't believe I forgot the stream today. <laughs> For gore. When you said Midnight Rain, I was thinking of the song. We were sunshine, it was midnight rain. Okay, I gotta swap out the mic. I'm like, just this section, then I'll go swap out the mic. And then I get started on the next piece. Okay. Are you kidding me? I turned around for two seconds. I get up. Where, was she even down here? I didn't even see her. <laughs> when did you get down here? You little chair thief. <laughs> She's a cute dog. She can do whatever she wants. Alright, you're gonna have to scooch a bit. For make room for mommy's butt. Uh. <laughs> Sneaking up to get the glue at the pets. <laughs> I turned around for two seconds. <laughs> I didn't even hear her jump up. I didn't even know she was still in the vicinity. <laughs> so funny. It's the month of June and you know what that means. Everything is gay now, yes, everything. Oh. 
Been too long since my last grape. Oh, you were squished by mommy's bum. A little butt bush. A little bum, baby. And Kiki's on the copa case. I'm suddenly aware of how <laughs> low my chair is right now. I mean, it's probably good for diamond painting. Keeps my face closer to the painting. I want Nintendo to make a Dr. Mario movie now. Well, who doesn't want to see a sexy doctor? It's <laughs> sexy. <laughs> if, well, so you want them to make a Dr. Bowser movie then? Aren't you going to make that sound bite more expensive now that June is over? Yeah, and then I for gore. Wait, that reminds me, I heard an alert when I was upstairs or something and I didn't read it when I came back down. Or did I? I know I read Forget Yous. Anyway. Vakta. Thank you for the one month. <laughs> I'm like, how are people gambling back to back? And then I'm like, they're, in, they're still a cool down. It just chats slow. <laughs> Not too many chatters right now. not eat these grapes because Kristen's making supper. Ooh. Maybe that can be my cue to end is just when supper's ready. Quick, I gotta finish this section before supper. I mean, I don't know. He's not too, too far in it. He was, like, emptying the dishwasher before he started, so... Like, when I went up there, he wasn't actually cooking it, although he had the ingredients laid out. Why won't these In ones honor lay in nice rows? I present to you a gift. <gasps> a gift. Locked us gifting five memberships. Thank you. With our new gift alert, they're going to Phyli, Jennifer M, Dwarf with the Foam Hammer, <laughs> Anna, Aranda, and Roberta. You. Once a member, always a member. New gift alert. Yeah. It also consolidates them to be one alert. Tyke it. Thank you for the two months. <laughs> hey, you. And Dwarf says, yay.
Isn't it nasty and generous? Maybe I should get one of those mega trays. Although, would I ever pour out that many drills at once? The thing is, when she sits behind me, after a while my tailbone starts to hurt because I'm sitting on the end of the chair. Although right now we good. She's also in a good spot where I've got a decent amount of my butt on the chair. Like sometimes she lays with her back facing out and her legs are towards the back of the chair. And that's tough. I need her laying like legs forward so I'm kind of she kind of wraps around my butt yeah because yeah. if your legs are facing back then it's too squishy imagine you flipping a mega tray okay maybe I don't want a mega tray <laughs> I take it back <laughs> Using a giant tray, it's amazing. Good investment. How annoying is diamond painting when cats are involved? Well, there's the issue of fur. As long as they're not walking on it, it's usually okay. Although the fur can come off your clothes or like if you pet them and then start working, the fur is gonna like fall from your hands and stuff. Um, and if they get a taste for the glue, then it's really annoying because then they try to eat the canvas. Midna. I mean, Kiki's done that too. But Midna just got a taste for it today, and she is addicted. Okay, there's all that symbol. Let's do the P. P P P. That's a P. She says Togepi in Pikachu's Vacation. Go, go, go!
I'm glad my dog leaves my paintings alone, but I have so much fur everywhere. I have a bigger tray, but only ever use it for large areas of the same color. What do y'all do with your extra drills? Mine are in little tiny Ziploc baggies. Waiting to be used someday for something. Tiny piece of plastic in here is kind of buggy. Like a little micro drill in my wax. See how much we can do before supper's ready. <laughs> Jacqueline, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome. I always think of Spirited Away when they're like, Welcome, rich man. There's an upside down drill in one of the peas. Must have just fallen there. <gasps> I heard him dig it in the utensil drawer and then put it in a bowl. Folks, that's all she wrote. Okay, well, we're so close to being done the peas. I just gotta do this little section. and the up arrows left too. We got close. We got close. If I did go till six, I would have time to finish it, but alas. Supper is ready. That's pretty good progress, though. I didn't think I would get done this much of this section, really. It does help. Like, the bigger the section, the quicker you get through it, because you got less color switching. In honor of Employee Brotherhood, I present to you a gift. A gift. Jacqueline is gifting a membership to Nicole. Thank you, Jacqueline. I present to you a gift. We have to roller this, though. Let me get... Where did I put that? It used... Oh, it is in this drawer. Okay. I'm going to put the mic down. Okay, it's not really snapping. I mean, the square ones probably do more of the snapping thing. Because they're tight, these circle ones. <laughs> ah. Well, that was anticlimactic. But, there's where we're at. We did most of this section. There's really this rose here, and then a couple other little patches. I guess uh, since it kind of brightens up, that's not. But, yeah, that's pretty good prog. Wow. 
Well, that view is anticlimactic. <laughs> Woo! I love the way it feels. Ugh. All right. Well. That is it for today's stream. I must go abruptly, but can we nice. get a shot of your dinner? <laughs> no, I'm going to go eat it upstairs. But thank you guys. I'll be back Saturday <laughs> for another vlog. Nice. <laughs> and I did post one yesterday. If anyone missed that, I posted a, a little outing at the lake. And so, yeah. Didn't catch much of it, but thank you for the stream. <laughs> Good progress today. Hope your tummy's better. Yeah, it's mostly better. I'm like 95% healed, bro. Yeah. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Oh, look at those cute babies.